You ready to get this shit started? They been requesting the hell out of Miss Pat in the trap. Well, thank you. They been asking me, too, where you come? I'm like, nigga, I don't know when they ask. You supposed what? to been here. What's up, Chad? What's going on? Nah, we just getting some pre-show banter and some background noise. Sure. We will be getting started here shortly. You need a water, a drink or something? You can't be playing all this gangster shit around Miss Pat. She ain't living that life no more. <laughs> she done changed. Nigga, I'm an R&B bitch. <laughs> yeah, she like, play some of that pimping shit, man. She want to hear some pimping. She, he thought she was still doing the street shit. He ain't know. <laughs> I do do street shit. I know, but he, you ain't in the streets like you was no, no more. No, I ain't in the streets. You don't ride around listening to all that trap music and I shit. I don't listen no to motherfucking trap music. Mm -mm. They, I, they, you can't understand them niggas. I don't like them new gangsters. Them niggas are way too weird for me. Them new gangs, old gangsters used to talk shit before they shoot you. The, the new niggas shoot you, then talk shit. And dance so like a hit. motherfucker, exactly. Them niggas stupid. See, that's more of a Miss Pat vibe right there. Something real smooth and easy. Something you can call somebody a bitch, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bitch! <laughs> who, do, who back there doing all that talking? Who that doing all that talking? Man, my boy? Man, tell him to shut the ugly ass up. What's his name? I thought he, not Carl. What's the, the tall dude's name? Be Clayton. Right. I thought he was coming. I don't know if Clayton coming. He just had a baby. Clayton just had a baby? Well, his girl did. It ain't him. But it's his. Oh, <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? I ain't wanted to be like, he had it, but they did. It's, yeah. Oh. All right then, Clayton having babies. Hell yeah, Clayton out here having babies, man. I Chad mean, got a baby too. Who? Chad that just walked in, right here. Everybody around Chad here making nice some babies. He should be skeeting naked in bitches. Why? <laughs> He's cute. Oh. They ain't the type of nigga you actually to put on a condom. Oh, shit. <laughs> you Miss Pat, don't come here and start <laughs> shit. <laughs> Chad, she said you ain't the type of nigga she'll ask to put on a condom. No, I got one. I like to protect myself. Mm-mm. He lying. <laughs> he got a newborn. You ain't get that newborn by breaking no condom, little Damn nigga. Damn sure didn't. <laughs> So what? Yeah, nigga, I'm not trying to fuck you. I'm trying to compliment you. Goddamn, That's you, how scared you he is. Like, I'm trying to rape your ass with them cornrows. What the fuck I'm going to do with a nigga with braids in his head? I'm an old bitch. I can't even braid, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I make you get a haircut. <laughs> He trying, to, he trying to beat me off him, nigga. I don't want his you girl, for real. His girl abusive, so he have to do shit I like that. that. God damn, I'm sorry, like I only it. like one woman. What? God. Shut your scary ass. You saw he went to defense yeah, mode. I don't want y'all, nigga. Start looking at the you. floor and shit. I only got I one only, woman. I only fuck short niggas. <laughs> no, I said you too cute to be having on a condom, you should see them bitches because you're good looking. No, 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 that's not smart. Well, I'm not saying it's smart, nigga. I'm telling you what you look like. She's saying you allowed to, I'm if you wanted to. I'm saying allow you to ski in there. No, nah, fuck responsibility. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Nobody can. <laughs> See, I be telling him, he always want to be a good person this, this shit. This trying to go to child support. Who we got, who we got coming? <laughs> well, he on the way? He on the way? All right, bet. Well, we'll just record all this shit talking because that's what the fuck we do. Clayton on the way. We'll start. I was just trying to cuff I wasn't trying to fuck you, little dude. You too small for me. I, I want to be respectful and let you know that I didn't get your book. Well, I just said bitches should let you ski them. Back in the day, you the type of nigga at the skating ring that was skeeting in all the bitches. It was just a flashback for me, I, sir. I, I feel like that's a negative. Shut up, Chad. Just shut, shut up. You can't even take a joke. Nigga from? Just, I don't know. Sometimes. You got, Bible, you got a prison Bible in your back pocket. Yeah. You got one of them little pocket Bibles in your Stop back talking pocket. to this nigga, man. He don't know nothing but, but breast you know, milk now. You're the reason why bitches stop fucking light skinned niggas. See? Nigga, you ain't light skinned. Chad, just, just go find something to do. Shut <laughs> Nigga, get a broom sweet to flow. You're upsetting me. <laughs> you fucking up the gift, Chad. <laughs> Out here trying to defend your good name and shit. Man, fuck all that good trying shit. Trying to help you get some pussy. He don't even want none. That's I what he said. 
Oh, oh, well, you love that nigga. Pussy whoop you. You gonna be all right, Chad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ain't got enough dick for two bitches anyway. God damn, you done got us started. You asked for this. <laughs> hey. <laughs> little nigga like you, I use you for a town for Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he trying to get me off of him like I'm really gonna fuck. Nigga, I got That's her to go. I can't be fucking nobody over 60. Damn. Under 60. Damn. <laughs> young nigga gonna tear your ass up. Ain't no young nigga gonna do a motherfucking thing to me because I pee on it. <laughs> they like that type of shit. You know that's if you the new shit. my legs up to I, I pee, about, not like R. Kelly by mistake. Oh. <laughs> you gonna have the streets on my mid pad squirrel and everything. <laughs> I ain't no squirrel, nigga. You gonna piss my head. Hey, mid pad wear a panty line 24 7. God damn. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta keep the old pussy warm. You gotta watch what you say on this motherfucker, cause Joe will put the title up, Miss Pat pissing on people. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta watch this nigga, man. Please don't put that shit up there. <laughs> Miss Pat ain't gonna be pissing on nobody, okay? He'll do that. He'd low down like that. Chad, Damn, Joe got flip flops on. Get him. Get him. Word. Oh. Clearly, your, your message ain't what getting across. Who? What he do? He the CEO. No wonder your DJ playing that bullshit music. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Miss Pat don't like that. Play some more shit. <laughs> no, you okay, DJ. Turn it off! <laughs> Miss Pat hates it! <laughs> Start over, you fuck! <laughs> yeah, Miss Pat, he had been bullshitting lately ever since he's been working with the other motherfucker. He don't bring up a two, three beats a show. I used, to get, I used to get 12, 13 like songs a show. You all right? Yeah, nigga, eyes look funny when you take them off. <laughs> he cross-eyed. <laughs> nah, they just don't. They're like, what the fuck? It's, you know, it's like, they there, but it looked like, like. You got so many light-skinned niggas working with you. Are you I didn't hire these niggas. They, I didn't, they was dark-skinned when they started. They stopped going outside. <laughs> they stopped going outside. Yeah. And you just so happened to find, well, it is a lot of them it's niggas that I think. Skin. And everybody. You know why they all like skin? Cause don't none of them niggas want to fight. <laughs> oh shit! You disagree? They just be like, man, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you, Carlos. Cause that nigga over there with that number seven on his shirt. That nigga in from from getting baptized tonight. Leave him alone, Miss Pat. He a different type of nigga. I like that little nigga. You a cute little nigga. <laughs> you make him nervous. I don't give a fuck, <laughs> huh? Oh, I see you chilling. <laughs> he like the bitch type of bitch to take you out to eat at Waffle House and act like he did something. Where you take him? He, he, he ain't that type of nigga. He tried to take a bitch up there where the shit's been around and look at the city and shit. Oh. He <laughs> wanted them old oh, extra ass nigga. Don't nobody go that for old nigga. That's what, he like that extra shit. <laughs> don't tell me when he get dressed up, he got a crease in the front of his pants. Caggies and all type of <laughs> plaid polos and shit. That nigga got a crease in front of his back with some Stacey Ladder songs on. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Well, oh, you ain't got no fans in a minute. Mm mm. <laughs> these, some different, these some different kind of niggas around in this bed. Oh, silent kill her ass nigga. Don't, don't trust <laughs> Your braids need to be retouched, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got four braids? You got enough half of 12 braids. But you got four braids in your motherfucking head. He had to hurry up. It was a lady doing it. He was like, my girl don't like no bad <laughs> <laughs> Can you hurry up? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga rushed it because it was another female. Yeah. Uh, he wouldn't sit between her legs. He sat in the chair, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. How old are you? And you that pussy with him. How old are you? Oh, oh, that's why. He just, this is the thing, Miss Pat. He be around us all the time, and he had the type of shit we be talking, so he try to go over and beyond to be better niggas than us. I'm like, bro, it don't matter how hard you try to be a better nigga, you still a nigga. You still a nigga, little nigga. <laughs> but he be trying to go, like, over and be, no, I don't do it. I don't do it. Man, I'm telling you, at the end of the day, the day over with. Uh, that, that's your first girlfriend you with? Mm-mm. No. You had your heart broke? Hell yeah. He too nice. Nigga got scared, ran in the house. <laughs> Told that nigga, stay out here in the street with us, nigga. Ain't no car coming. <laughs> then he was like, nah, look, this street life ain't for me. This bitch told a lie on me. <laughs> this bitch told a lie on me. He got rebaptized everything. <laughs> <laughs>
in here. Had a uh, whole dedication. No one ain't about to cry about fucking him. Nigga quit eating meat and everything. I was saying he can't take it. Don't he fuck with me. That nigga on No eat. wonder he's so fucking yeah, weak. Exactly, <laughs> I man. mean, assist him. I'm sorry, assist him. See, leave him alone. You don't eat meat. Yeah. Damn, the bitch got you off the chicken, nigga. Yep. And put let you get only four braids. <laughs> now I just looked up one day. All these niggas had different hairstyles. That nigga had dreads when we started. You got a lot of light skinned dudes around you. Well, two of them niggas is brothers, so that's like one. That's your brother. No, his brother, the nigga who looked like his father is his brother. <laughs> <laughs> the big black nigga. No, the nigga sitting right there. The big black Don't nigga. he look like that's his son? <laughs> this nigga posted his dad on Instagram for Father's Day. I thought the nigga was playing, and I was like, nigga, your brother is your father. <laughs> <laughs> If you 34, <laughs> hold your brother daddy back there. No, that's not his brother. That's his brother. Oh, that's his brother. Yeah. Oh, y'all got two different daddies. Yeah. Of course. No, who? Them two? They got the same parents. Who? Him and his brother. That big nigga back there? That ain't got shit. They not related to him. They just... Who I, his brother? The big nigga The nigga brother. right there, yeah. The nigga sitting beside you? Them two brothers. Oh, them two brothers. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you talking about that little nigga. No, nah, he don't have no brother up here. Oh, he okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Damn, Miss Pay, you just made me realize it is a lot of light brown ass niggas around here. Nigga, somebody come in here. Well, we got Devo. Devo represent for uh, he's super dark. Who? <laughs> Devo. Oh my God. Is he back there? Look, you can't even really see him. Oh, that him? Yeah, Devo. That nigga just got out of jail, then. Yeah, that's his yeah. <laughs> That nigga look like he about to steal something. Yeah, exactly. You saw, Quisha. Quisha, you saw you how he walked up. What happened? Quisha. What happened, Low? Quisha, you got my pocketbook. <laughs> that nigga look like he steal. <laughs> oh, that, nigga, that nigga got on that third grade t-shirt, too. <laughs> Ain't nobody fucking with that nigga. <laughs> Ain't nobody fucking with him. <laughs> Looking like the last motherfucker get picked up from the daycare. <laughs> you look like who? The last motherfucker get picked up from the daycare. <laughs> <laughs> so <with him>. <laughs> <laughs> look at the little cute. He got some, he got some nice little pussy lips on him. <laughs> Stop leeching <laughs> alone, Mid Pat. Ooh, he got some, he got some little cute little lips on him. Look at him. <laughs> He a little cute, fuck, but you got some little bit of that eyes, too. Go on in the back, bro. She going to go. It's never going to stop. that little nigga can suck a titty. How much you want to bet? <laughs> I bet you he can suck fat bitches' titties. <laughs> Quit you put him on the keychain and let me take him with me. <laughs> Boy, I don't know what we're going to do if Miss Pat get a hold of Chad. She going to have that little nigga locked in the basement. Slapping him with titties. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I put him in my Fendi bag. You got a bag? He's over there. I put him in my purse. He cute. Fuck, Carlos doing breastfeeding the baby? I'm Carlos. I mean, not Carlos. What's his nigga name? Ch somebody check on Clayton. Yeah, Clayton breastfeeding the baby? I don't think he breastfeeding. <laughs> <laughs> he might be feeding the baby some breast milk. <laughs> Breast milk is disgusting. You ever suck that shit? Yeah. That might be him right there. That is him. I can tell That's by his mouth. God damn it, you good, Miss Pat. You good, <laughs> the motherfucker. Nigga, I've been around y'all for 30 years. <laughs> Come on in. We were wondering, was you breastfeeding the baby? I know I ain't gonna make this happen. Yeah, nigga, ain't gonna get up a hug you. Yeah, okay, you do. Oh, that's right. This nigga got a chick. Nigga, you got a Christian cup with alcohol. That's a real nigga right there. Spaghetti with the meatball. <clears throat> you got on the mask? Spaghetti with the meatball. You, <laughs> you are? Spaghetti with the... <clears throat> Man, whoever drew that picture drew the hell out of that picture. What picture First time I looked at it, I thought it was a picture. Then I looked. Right. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
nice, nice. All y'all pictures are nice. This shot's for everybody. We got some very talented fans this around. Shot. You do shots? Nah, I don't, I don't do shit. Home. I forgot no. you changed your life. Nigga, I ain't never did no shots. I know, but you saw a crack. Yeah. So you changed your life. I, well, the police made me change my fucking life. <laughs> What's up, my What's wife? up, baby? What's, What's up? You good? Yeah. Good to see you. Hey, man, your shit been in the works for yeah. a minute. It has. Five years. <laughs> you happy to have that shit out? Nigga. Yeah. It was five long fucking years of some no's and maybes and hoes and all kind of shit. I'm glad that fi fi people finally get to see it. They need to. They need to. First time I saw them this past. Twisted Taco? It had to be Twisted Taco. Twisted Taco. Mm -hmm. It had to be Twisted Taco. Mm -hmm. Yup. Tore their ass up. I know you talk shit to some of them white people that was in there. I'm of course. This shit on. Nigga done called the wrong, who you call? I still hear some shit. That's one of them people trying to sell you some car insurance? Yeah, you uh, warranty? <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm so sick of them. Man. N nigga, I cuss him out. No, 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 the one who called you and said, uh, your social security number is about to be expired. I said, like, oh my God, I need to speak to somebody. And I said, they was like, oh, you need to give us your bank account number. I said, I said, I'm gonna fuck you up, nigga, when I find your motherfucking ass. <laughs> and then, then you just cuss me out. Fuck you, bitch, and hang up. <laughs> I don't ever just hang up on them calls. I let them I go all the way through. I always act like I'm at the bank and I can't understand what they're saying. Oh, really? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting out the truck. What you say you need now? Now just give me your account. I'll just put it in. What I need to do? The guy Hello? cuts their ass out. When Hello? It, when it be them foreign people, I go ahead and I just try and call them a name that I know. Because you know they tell you the name that ain't their name. This is Paul. I'm like, her <laughs> deep. Sanjay, stop bullshitting me. How did you know? These <laughs> niggas. <laughs> How did you know? I was like, yeah, nigga. You get a one every one out of ten. I've seen people, I've known people that really send them fools some fucking money, but you ain't gonna get my motherfucking money. You gotta come rob me with a pistol, nigga. You ain't gonna get me over no motherfucking phone call. Nope. Mm-mm. And you ain't gonna hardly get it with no pistol, because I'm gonna have it in my drawers, and I'm gonna say, if you can get down now, you can get it. That's where you keep your money at? They gonna make you strip. Yeah, nigga, I got on a spank. If you don't try to, you don't fuck the fat bitch with a spank on, it just don't pull down like underwear. I know. <laughs> she gotta let that slap down like a male, like a right. man. Yeah. You might have just. <laughs> <laughs> Baby club. I don't think I ever seen you with a fat girl, Carlos. You ain't, you ain't supposed to see me with them. They didn't want to be seen with me. He been, he, no, nah, he, he, you trying to, you you would you, you would do it like paparazzi. What happened? You wouldn't let them see you. So what you saying you, you don't take fat girls out? I didn't never say that. Do you fuck do you fuck them? I have before. <coughs> but the ones that Did I Did you have a relationship with them? No, the ones that I had a relationship with was doing better than me. So they didn't want me out. Like, I wasn't on camera. Oh, candy. you didn't fuck them. I was just sliding through. No, you didn't. What well, was I doing? Niggas like you, they, you, you didn't let you stick it in our navels. What? Yeah, you don't get it. No, Miss Pat, you got me yeah, fucked you up. Fucked you don't, don't know the type of shit I was doing before the money came. Miss <laughs> Pat. Oh. Pat, I was thugging out here in these streets. Yeah, but we usually let y'all fuck us in our navels. I don't know where you getting all this shit from. You can't compare me to none of these niggas on the streets. I am one of one. Universal. I guarantee you was fucking them in the navel. Uh, I guarantee you call I was. Up now. I can call them. I don't know them no more. Yeah. I don't know him no you more. You don't know him no more? No, once we threw fucking around, I don't know you no more. Uh, you stupid. I don't. You a damn liar. Ask no me more. how many exes I got. We, uh, we know how many exes you got. Don't do that to Cut. yourself. Baby mamas don't count. You ain't got but one of them. That's what I'm saying. How, else, how many more exes I got? I've seen you with a few. That don't mean they was my ex. You ain't with the bitches no more. Th thank you. So they don't know me. Exes. No, they not. So what you saying? You ain't got no exes, Carlos? Zero. You... After 2020, I don't have no past no more. Oh, this is new, baby. Seven ain't years. nobody used to fuck with me. Seven if years, they have a pre-pandemic. Don't count. So you not in a relationship now? Who told you this? I'm asking, goddammit. What this got to do with you being on here? I'm here. I'm not <laughs> asking the question. <laughs> <laughs> you try to make it, I'm sure about you ain't got no fucking eggs. I'm like, hold on, man. I ain't got no eggs. I ain't got no eggs. Oh, Carlos. Uh, go, fuck you, Carlos. I've known you about 20 years. <laughs> you, got him, you got him smoking this blunt like he hitting the pipe. He know I ain't got no eggs. He know me better than anybody. Carlos. Ask him. Carlos. Bruh, ask him. 
Oh. Yeah, no, that nigga, he, he didn't. He, Shut he, the fuck what up, he gonna Clay. say is, I didn't go with her. <laughs> yeah. I didn't go with her. Shut the, that's right. I was like, you was with her. Yeah, you were with her. But he's like, I didn't so go I with her. I see you with a lot of with hers. No, yeah. you didn't. You yes, like, yeah, about I'll a bunch of bitches. I be trying to make it seem like you see me with no lot of bitches. I've seen you with a lot of bitches back in the day. What day was that? Back in the day. What, what year? I don't know, nigga. I don't know the year. I'm just old. saying, because I had a, I had a year in the street now. You know? I have one year in the street. It might have been a year in the summer. No, what go to hell? <laughs> it ain't a year in the hell. Every time you summer. came to a show, it was a different bad bitch with a titty hanging out. Nah, it might have just been the same Shut one the with fuck. a different wig. There was not wig. no same one, color. Different wig? Huh? Different wig? Oh, you no, talking you about. You can't trick a black bitch with wigs. I know them. Miss Pat, you talking about. Uh, Shut the fuck up, Clay. Man, you really just came over here to just tell everybody I had them hoes <laughs> back in the day. God <laughs> damn, Miss Pat. Them fans. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. They was groupies. It, they didn't exist. Yes, they did. They was Carlo. groupies. Oh, my God. Carlo, I remember Miss Lie Yourself you Groupie. You mean to tell me I've been on this show building up this platform all these years to hide all the shit I used to do just for you to come on here like Carlos had a different bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what my life is in now. You don't know if I'm, I'm an ordained minister now. We have a first lady at the church. You ain't out here talking <laughs> way you ain't no too ordained, much. You ain't no fucking ordained minister with all this weed. I'm smelling in this motherfucker. I did, oh, I forgot you back in the church. Hold on. I ain't in no motherfucking church, but y'all about to give a breast, bitch breast cancer with all this smoke. <laughs> <I'm> curious <laughs> if anything. Yeah, it might, it might get it up off you. Yeah, put that, the weed that out so down. we can interview Ms. Pat. Man, God damn. All right, we can start it. We can start in a minute. Did you? Did Take a minute and hit the weed so you can get catch up. A Did you? What you go? What? Nothing. You didn't do it. Either. No, because Miss Pat don't hit the line on me and shit. <laughs> that ain't lying. She saw what she saw. What she when was this? I'm just trying to explain. Why I told hit you. Hit the fucking camera so we can catch this shit. Come on, Carlos. Don't play with me. I've been around you for a long time. You know, act like the baby mama is the only bitch we saw. <laughs> Miss Bay, I honestly didn't even know you seen me. He, he uh, thought I he was sleeping. I didn't know. <laughs> I thought you were cute. I was just married, but I know you were a lot of bitches. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, Miss Bay. Twisted tacos. I ain't had no hoes in that era. I and, think I saw that you era, a white bitch back then. No, you didn't. Okay. Because I ain't even. I wasn't. In that there. era, that was the beginning. I ain't had no hoes in the beginning, Miss Pat. And I didn't twist the taco. But at Uptown. Up, by the time Uptown came, you I did have bitches. a few little hoes. A few little hoes. A few little hoes. Because I, I had the Cadillac too. Yep. I'm telling you, we was doing that was we was doing good. That was one of the highs of the lows right there. We was the man, highs of the lows. Man, before shit started tearing up, blowing up, wrecking up, nigga, me and Clayton had some fun in these goddamn streets. Now I don't know what the fuck hey, Clay was doing. I, I hey. ain't mean to include you in none of hey, this bullshit. I don't, I, I'm a family man. I'm I a daddy. Know. But Ms. I'm Mac a father. Was, at some point, she gonna remember. I'm a father. I watch. I, 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 I watch. I watch too. I watch Daniel Tiger. You watch Paw Patrol. Come Whatever on, the man. fuck the kids watch. The baby watch. just been born. He ain't, he ain't no Paw Patrol yet. Shit, me. Whatever you noise make him be quiet. Oh. I put that shit on, man. I put that shit on. How old is the baby? This nigga been listening to Pooh Shiesty. He keeps saying brr. I'm like, hey, man. And who the fuck is Pooh Chasing? A new forgot. rapper. <laughs> a new rapper? He ain't dead? Uh-uh. He ain't dead. You got... Oh. He ain't dead? <laughs> you the one that cold rapper? That be a cold rap name, though, while you bullshit. He ain't dead? He ain't dead. <laughs> man, you got that new he ain't dead? Boy. <laughs> that nigga still ain't dead. That's the name of the album. Hey. <laughs> Especially if the nigga done survived twice. He ain't dead two times. When you Ooh, throw that two times out, he ain't dead two times? <laughs> nigga, the mixtape hey, nigga come. rapping from the hospital. Nigga. Rapping from the hospital, the, you need to beat in the song. Beep. The, uh, Beep. the EKG machine. That's, the, the, that's how the song come on. The EKG machine. Yeah, yeah. that shit gonna be cold. Nigga, I survive. Okay. They kill me. Cause you, you but don't I'm have a hit till me. they get killed. <laughs> they need to get killed to have a hit. Yeah, well, that's cold. That's the fucked up part. I know. I was you, thinking you about this You can't buy a early. concert ticket, nigga. You have to go to their funeral to enjoy them. That's what I was thinking about earlier. Like, at what point when is, when is gonna like become cool to not be from the hood? Like, is the next generation of rappers just gonna be well to do from nice? No, it is, it, it is though. You these niggas to... move. All these niggas move, bro. Right. But you Unless gotta put, you gotta have a tough demeanor because you can't be no rapper like that light skinned boy you got back there with them braids. Yes, you can. No, I ain't nobody gonna buy that That's shit. That's what most of them niggas look like. You about. That little nigga over there. Ain't oh. nobody gonna buy his album? Shit, that nigga. Why he got his legs crossed like that? Toughen up, Chad. Fuck him up for us. 
Who don't want a nigga have him cross his leg like a school teacher? <laughs> That's untough ass nah, nigga. Tell it up, man. They, <laughs> this shit gonna blow up on the internet. Yeah, for him. But you got, you got, uh, what you got, Drake? Sensitive? I don't, I don't know. I, just, I don't know, bro. You get to talk you got, about this You gotta shit. be tough to be a rapper. Nobody don't hear, hear that, none of that bullshit. You gotta they be. Don't. Not no more. Nah, that shit is These awesome. niggas is dancing. You gotta either awesome. smart or you, you gotta, gotta be smart. You gotta be able to convince people that they're gonna fuck with you. These niggas be dancing their ass off. Rappers These niggas... dance? Oh, man. Nigga. Man. More Where than anybody. Oh, my God. Damn, sing, I... too. These I... niggas love to try to sing. Why the fuck I be? <laughs> the niggas' favorite word is ooh, nigga. Them niggas will stretch an ooh out to 15 seconds. What you, rappers we talking about, guys? Because I don't remember these niggas. It's, you see, it's a new generation of rappers, and don't what, know that. What rapper is saying I'll shoot that bitch's holly oot oot for 15 minutes? Oh, oh you just know. named about 30. Don't say nobody's name. Did he say? Don't say nobody's name. That's damn sure what Fetty Wap Because doing. it's not just one person. This nigga said Fetty Wap. He said, don't say nobody's name. Yeah, don't I, say nobody's name. Fetty Wap was singing like him, and still, he had a trap queen, nigga. But for some reason, I just wanted to see that nigga win. Who fed him up? Whatever well, that, I, man. that, just something about that nigga. I wanted him to win, and he did. He, he had a hard ass run. That kind of remind me of me. <laughs> that nigga a G. <laughs> <laughs> Lil was gone. Lil was stuck in this shit. Well, you, I mean, I wanted to see him win, too. I did. Hey, man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. yeah. Clayton, we, we have a very. Mm -mm. Very fabulous guests amongst us Roll today. Roll out the royal carpet. Yeah, man. we have some comedic royalty. ATL comedy royalty beyond that, you know, and clear whole country. She, she been knowing us for a long ass time because she talking about the shit we used to do. We ain't been living like that no more. Got a new show out on BET. Come on. Plus. <laughs> Come on. She been popping up on man, all the podcasts from Joe Rogan to. On there with Tom on two bears and one cave and shit. Everybody <laughs> loves her. Well, she don't everything. Uh, her story, her story is an impeccable story, man. Movie One star. of the great Atlanta success stories. Actress, uh, radio host, show creator. What you, EP? Uh-huh, I'm saying. Creator. creator. She creator. a writer. Creator, Anna. EP. Writer. Writer. Yeah, that's She got that. a lot of shit. I know how it goes She now. does it all. I know how it goes now. You been asking. We finally got Miss Pat <laughs> in the trap. That's right. Right. About to happen today. Because now the whole trinity is complete. Ooh. You don't even know what that means, dude. Ooh. Me, Miss Pat, and Marvin Gaye <laughs> got the same birthday. Show the same birthday. birthday. Same birthday. When is that? April 7th. OK, that's right. OK. We got, yeah, I one. got you a fool. Almost. I waited. That's how, that's how far I took shit. Yeah. I was like, ah. Stick a foot out. <laughs> Pull it back Pull in. Back <laughs> in. <laughs> stupid ass Freaking shit. Stupid. Miss Pat, welcome to the trap. Miss Pat. 85 hey, South Show. This show. Long time since I've been to a trap, but I'm, I'm glad just to be saying, here. We, we're just trapping jokes out of here. We ain't selling no kind yeah. of narcotics. It's illegal. I know. Controlled substances and that. That's why I'm here, because if it was controlled substance, I wouldn't be here. I know. I seen you came through here and did a sweep first before you came <laughs> in. She kicks the people out. What other <laughs> dope? Ain't no other dope. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Don't want to go back to jail, that's all. No, you're back. Yeah, that, back. That's, that's the past past, though. Yeah, but bitch don't know when she gonna go back, so I'll be trying to keep back. it. You, you ain't going back now. now. You can buy most of the charges you be doing. You can pull I, some I ain't gonna do no motherfucking charges, so I ain't gonna buy nothing. shit pop up. They, you protected. You got a whole show. They ain't about to let you go to jail. They gonna come out for you. I hope so. Oh, they will. I hope, I hope my white fans come get me. I call them my crack babies. <laughs> I love it. That's what I call my fan base, my crack and babies. And they love it. They fucking love I it. I think I got to open up my fan base. I think my white fans been feeling alienated. Feeling yeah. what? Feeling alienated. Why? Because I, I didn't, it's not a white community of my fans. It's just all my white fans don't have no white friends. So they don't even really count as white people, do they? Uh, yeah. But I'm saying, like, they not the typical white folks. The ones I've been noticing in my shows, like they have. They them thugged out. Yeah. <laughs> they them, I call them uh, um, white niggas. <laughs> that, that's what they call white niggas. You be on it with the terminology. Yeah. Shout out to the crack babies. Yeah. And the real crack ones babies. too, because 
I don't know what the fuck happened to them. Well, well, mine ain't smoking no crack. It you don't know. <laughs> you don't know <laughs> you, you probably fucking right, but I don't think they smoke crack. But since I was an ex-drug dealer, I named them my crack babies. Oh, I like it. But you know white people, dude, I'll try anything once. I, 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 I listened to your audio book. Did you? Yeah, the whole thing. Was you high? Grab it. Yes. Because <laughs> it it's, it's the type of shit you get high and want to hear, because it's just like sitting in the, on the porch in the hood, listening to how the hood was before you was in the hood. Yeah. It's dope. You just, you just came from a whole family of hustlers and shit. Granddaddy had the money stitched in the pants. Yep. I see, I know the That's detail. You, you thought I was just shit, saying bro. this shit? <laughs> that shit Pretty in you. Pretty much. But for the people who might not have um, got to check the book out, like, let them know your story, like, how you came up in this, in this game, even before the comedy shit, because it's very interesting. Well, I grew up in the West End. Okay. <clears throat> That's what it's... Oh, yeah? Yeah, nigga, okay. down the street. It's I grew up in the yeah. West End, and, um... That's why I used to traffic cocaine. What, crack? I used to sell crack down on Fair Street. You had to cook it yourself? I learned how to cook it myself. The crackheads taught me how to cook it. For real? The crackheads taught me how to do it. I had a, fr I had a partner, a uh, childhood friend that I partnered with for a while when it was like at the boom when crack first hit the black community. And uh, man, we was selling so much shit. He learned how to cook it, so he taught me how to cook it. Because it's, ch it's ch it's a little cheaper when you buy it in a powder form. It costs right. a little bit more when you buy it already cooked. Yeah. So you save a little money when you can cook it yourself. Plus, you can step on it a couple times back in those days. All right. Right. Step on it means you can stretch it. You can add yeah. a little yeah. something to it and make a little more drip. Yeah. But they ain't doing all that no more. We ain't no. TV and film and production and shit. Yeah. So give us a taste of what Atlanta was Not like. Not the crack. I thought you were talking about the crack. Don't give me oh. no, don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't taste know. it. <laughs> I don't want to taste crack either. I mean, it was just what it tastes like. <laughs> How you know what it does? You addicted to it. I used to uh, cut. I used to cut crack and uh, when I used to uh, cut a lot of it, like a key or half a key or something. Yeah, and you, I would be, you won't wait a minute. You had that much crack. I had a lot of dope, but shit. I used to cut it. And as I cut it, I would be eating like fast food, and that shit fucked my muscles up in my lips. So for years, I used to do that. <laughs> and people thought, well, what the fuck wrong with your mouth? Well, my my lips stayed numb all the fucking time because I had ate, I had eaten so much uh, crack. That's crack. So you was chopping and just eating, eating nuggets. Eating mm -hmm. with the crack on me. With you the, uh, some well, I was young, 15, 16, 17. Damn. I was buck ass wild. Damn, damn. That's how strong that shit was. Just the rest. Did you even feel it? Did you even realize you was getting? I realized it later on when I. I couldn't stop moving my lip. It was just all the fucking time like a fucking rabbit. So, but eventually this, my mom, it came back. Right. Over the right, years. Right, right. Hey, but you put it together. You was like, wait a minute. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm, we came from eating crack. Damn. Miss Pat, no, a fucking key. That's a lot. A lot of niggas didn't even make it all the way up to a key. Yeah, I used to a lot. I used to traffic a lot. Shit. That's Is this hard. you? Oh, I like no, I had a partner. Okay, just so like, just like two of y'all. Who's just two of just... us? Ooh. Mm -hmm. We used to have fast free bottle. They don't change all that shit now. I used to sell it right there in front of my daughter's school, oh, uh, M. Miss Jones Elementary. I wish I had a partner to sell a key of crack with. I'd be celebrating like a motherfucker. Don't. Just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> we can make it if we try. Just to... if you act like that back in the nineties, you going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm in the trap. Yeah. Thank God, podcast saved the balls. I'm so glad. I'm glad I wasn't around. That's a, that's a lot of You didn't sell drugs? Mm -mm. What did you do illegal? Nothing. Why the fuck would I tell you what I did? Come on, Miss Payne. That makes you know, me interesting. No better than that. I ain't do shit. Well, she told all her shit. I ain't yeah. do shit. Did you sell drugs, Clayton? I attempted a few times. Mm -mm. What happened? You got locked up on the first try? No. You got scared and gave it all away? Nah, that shit was just, these motherfuckers was worse. <laughs> what the fuck you mean? You got product to sell, nigga. They, they supposed worsen, to be worse. They worse them, bruh. They worse them. What, they knocking on the door at 3 o'clock? They worse them, bruh. Yeah. Hey, wait. Hey, man. You the, hey, man, leave me the fuck alone. What kind of fucking drug dealer are you, nigga? Not like that. I was at my mama's house. That shit, <laughs> that's too stressful. I can't too much stress, motherfuckers like, man, you can meet. I'm not meeting you, man. Why the fuck you wasn't out earlier when I was? No, she was bad. And then I tried, I had 
the prescription and I tried to sell some prescriptions. Yeah. That's that new shit. I ain't do that. I had, I had prescriptions. Nigga, for that some prescription. You stealing your mama pain medication for her for her uh, menopause and shit. Nah, it was codeine. Codeine. Yeah. Nigga, nigga, buy sipping, codeine. Sipping on some scissor. So oh no, I didn't do that. I stopped that crack. Well, I mean, that's the they top. called on me. I tried to fill the prescriptions back to back too fast. Like I, I had three prescriptions. Wait a minute, right? you were fucking with the real pharmacist for the for the. Hey man, don't talk about all this time. It, no, no, no. It was, it was my, it was, it was somebody got sick in the household. Was you was not a drug dealer. You just trying to somebody had medication. the pharmaceutical. You were trying to finesse something. Man, they called and told. But they called and told my mama. That was the crazy part. <laughs> I was like, hey, man, it's a nigga down here trying Clay. to get this other thing of codeine. Clay. He was that not was a it. drug dealer. He was a I, fucking I said clean. I wasn't. Yeah, he I was said I ain't trying to re it. refill somebody's prescription. You said that you tried to sell drugs. Ain't that what you said? <laughs> nigga, you there about to get locked up on Medicaid for all these years. Refill somebody's motherfucking prescription too soon, isn't it? Nah, I ain't never. I ain't never. I got the first two. I got the first two. That third one, though. I ain't never get to do that type of shit. Nothing. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Everybody don't share their background. That's all right. I ain't sell crack. I ain't never sell no crack. Mm -mm. Did you I'm from a small town. And like all them jobs was filled already. <clears throat> oh, they, oh, they was? By the time I went outside, they had all the drug dealers slots filled. They wasn't letting no new Y'all not hiring? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> what about you? Did you hire anybody? Y'all good? See, my uncles were some of the biggest drug dealers around my city, so I ain't never. I ain't never get So you had somebody buy you your tennis shoes? No, not like that. Country. I did it because I'm I had a country kids. boy, Miss Pat. I worked for everything I had. You a goddamn When I was lie. a young boy, I started me a lawn service, and I spent all my time out there cutting grass like Forrest Gump, and I saved up all my money, and I got out of there. <laughs> That's all I did, Miss Pat. Ran around like Forrest Gump, played a few sports, cut a little grass, smoked a little grass, got a little ass. Gave me some gas and kissed my ass. <laughs> you full of shit, uh, I ain't full of shit. OK. All right, no, Mr. I just, man, it was just where I'm from. I recognize you very early. Where you from? It's a trap, Oxford, Mississippi. It oh, ain't that's a whole lot of options Mississippi. for a nigga, so he's like, you either going to do the right shit or the wrong shit. But I met your mama it, before. She wasn't going to play that shit anyway. Exactly. So it's like, you, they let you do, like, you get a chance to, like, all right, you're going to do all the wrong shit. They just give you a minute to just be wrong as fuck. So when they lock your ass up, everybody going to be like, told you. How you going to sell drugs if everybody know you sell drugs? In the whole that's city. The, that's the purpose of selling drugs. But so you get this all the city, customers. I'm this city no, is too so, small You niggas don't know how to commit a crime, do you? You want everybody to know who you are? That's what you're supposed to but know. This, this that's is how you city. go to jail, though, right? But you're going to go to jail regardless. But how you going to get clients don't nobody know you got the shit? I thought you were supposed to, I thought you were supposed to, like, blend in. Like, you look like a crackhead, too, but no, you sell no. it to the crackheads. <laughs> like, and you just scatter when the police, I, that ain't. But I'm just saying, you made you a living bummy, in a you small crack, you town. Mean, you, they think you smoking this shit. And you the big dope dealer, seller. Oh, you do, it's like, nigga, they looking at everybody. They're like, OK, they look at, all they, these people work over here. You the only drug dealer. You going. You're not the only drug. There's a lot of fucking drug dealers. Shit. It was, and that's what I'm telling you. That's how small my town was. It was one drug dealer at a time. They had the, 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 the <laughs> real <laughs> drugs was on this side of town, and the other drugs was on this side of town. They didn't even keep the weed in the crack in the same crack house. They usually don't. So I'm just saying. The and weed then, man was a couple of those down from the crack. Mm -mm. This shit was on a whole other side of town. Oh. Oxford, Mississippi had it backwards. Hey, Oxford, Mississippi had it right. You are fucking up my wig with that goddamn wig. Put the wig out. This hat has a wig on. It <laughs> looks nice. <laughs> Thank looks you, nice. I thought that was you. I didn't know. You know I only going around, around accusing people girl. of wearing wigs. That shit will get you fucked up. I know you street. got more wigs, huh? I got nah. a lot of wigs. I know. Yeah, that's never... like a fitted cap. Don't even act like that. Fuck you. You throw that shit away. <laughs> <laughs> she chuck it after one way and shit. Yeah, I don't need this shit no more. I already know, Miss Pat. I would take that it off like full. a fitted cap, nigga. I'd take it off like a fitted cap. <laughs> I don't even think I look like you when I come out this motherfucker. Maybe that's your you party wig. <laughs> this my what? The party wig. Uh, well, some days, some days, but I'm about to smoke. I'm about to watch this motherfucker because he's going to have weed, weed we'll, in we'll it. We'll go half with you on some Febreze or something. <laughs> You just Febreze that motherfucker. What kind of bitches you been fucking that Febreze they wigs, Carlos? Bitches is Febreze in they life. 
This bitch whole house. I know Febreze when I smell it. Who the fuck is Febreze now? You just gonna stop accusing me of uh, being associated with a bunch of miscellaneous bitches and things like that. Okay, Carlos, you changed your life. I understand. Yeah. You married? Mm-mm. You plan on it? Why would I plan some shit like that? You married and you don't even like this shit. Who the fuck told you exactly. I like this shit? Nigga, my husband watch this shit. Exactly. Stop <laughs> accusing me of shit. Now you shut your mouth. My husband watch this shit. Yeah, okay. He gonna hear it. <laughs> oh, so you don't like this shit? <laughs> I love this shit, okay? <laughs> I got good health care, nigga. Oh, well, yeah. I'm 50 years old. You trying to get a bitch put off a good health care. No, I wouldn't dare get you put off your good health care. <laughs> but it's just marriage just don't, just don't seem too appealing these days. It's all right. You married? No. See, nobody want to do that shit. Well, What's... I'm a lot older than you guys, That's what so. I'm saying. Maybe when I'm but a you, lot older. I, I don't know. I think for I've me, been married we, a long time. We want to hit our goals. Yeah. Like you hit your goals within a marriage, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I, I, I don't. I got it. Yeah, y'all can goal. share that. Y'all achieved that together. I did too That's much shit by myself. True. That you don't want to give up. Yeah. She wasn't with me shooting in the gym. <laughs> she didn't even know I was in the gym. <laughs> So you don't want to share? Share what? Who would share? Nah. The singer? I don't want to be the only <laughs> one with some shit. <laughs> Who the share? Who the singer share? Share what? I mean, I'm just asking. Did I don't you know. you see how ugly divorce proceedings are? Uh, you can get a bitch for sign a pre Nah, OK. That shit work? I don't know. I don't have a prenup. It depends on your state. Man, I'm telling you, because they got them people like, did you sign a prenup? Call us right now so we can get you out of it. Thank you. Really? Yeah, they'll go and they'll be like, oh, I wasn't in the right state of mind. He manipulated me. I didn't know what I was signing. And the judge be like, you sure? And they'll start all over. It's like, that shit never happened. Oh, Dr. Drake I... just had to get that lady all that money. She ain't made nothing beat. Uh, but she laid on her back. And? Puss ain't free. It costs to clean it out. Shit. What? Well, that's some hell of a shit to know right that there. That ain't the cost. <laughs> that nigga said that ain't the cost. That ain't the cost. Hey, that's some hell of a shit I to know. I know how much pussy should. Um, what, hey, what can pussy do for you? It ain't how much Dr. Dre paying. It ain't. But when you've been married, you don't think you should share when you've been married to a person a long time? Did they help mm, you? Did they help you? I'm quite sure she did. They were married over 15 years. What she helped with if she if he was rich though? Right. When he got her? Decorating the house, taking care of the kids. Man, they got real painting people. Painting the bedroom, doing the laundry. That shit take a, a, a smart person to do. You think she was doing that? No, she paid somebody else to do it. But she set up the appointments. No, she spent all her pussy money. <laughs> <laughs> she spent up all her pussy money. Man, you sound absurd right <laughs> into her, You know what I'm saying? She could have done about hey, a line. I'm not going to knock it. <laughs> Who gonna take half a nigga money, okay? That shit cool when it happened to, you, to a nigga, huh? <laughs> Let some niggas start leaving with half of y'all shit. They do leave with half of all Ooh. shit. That's why I'm married. I'm talking about women. Who? What man didn't do What if a nigga just start asking for petty shit in the divorce? I want eight of them wigs. <laughs> Yeah, goddamn, I want and eight I of them. I would say, Quiz, you get this nigga eight bad wigs. <laughs> yeah, he get to pick which eight he want. My client will give you eight wigs, wigs, but she gets to pick. No, That's what the no, lawyer said. No deal. No, you want no your deal. pick? No deal. Zero to Chris. No deal. Your client is out no of his deal. fucking mind, OK? My client wants free range to pick whatever he wants. <laughs> then we got to kill the nigga. You see? <laughs> <laughs> and the nigga can't get the raw hair. <laughs> he know which one so of them good. So he can to his new bitch. Exactly. No. He gonna know. He know the resale on them. No, we are gonna have to kill that nigga. Damn, is that killing it? I mean, you want eight raw wigs? That's a lot of money. Exactly. You ain't sold now one of the motherfucking wigs. Now you see how it feels. Shut eight raw wigs. How, how much is that? I was gonna ask something different, but how much is that? Uh, what? Five, six, a thousand dollars a piece, probably. Okay. Yeah. Hit away, it hurt. I mean, you can go out to the bank ones. account. I mean, they paying me is now. When you've been in a relationship a long time, they're actually paying me is now. It's just Ooh. not worth it, Miss Pat. Ooh. The marriage? None of that shit. What lady got, who, who's paying? It that costs too much. Adele had to give her husband had a lot of money. It costs too Kelly much. Kelly Claus had to give her husband a lot of money. You be fucking these people. That's what I'm saying. What did you say? It costs too much when you fucking like that. When you marry somebody and then you got to give them some shit for them to leave, mm -mm. just leave. You don't want me no more. What the fuck you want my shit for? Well, all right, give me that. No, nope. <laughs> just leave. Just fuck, fuck me and this shit. Mary J had to pay. 
That's why she made that song. I'm feeling fine, 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 fine. Oh, that was before that She got fine, song. nigga. That's how she felt, nigga. She I mean, felt she fine, fine, nigga. <laughs> how you feeling, man? I'm fine, OK? The judge didn't even look up when he was signing the paperwork. It's Mary J. Blige. She's strong. She's not going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch man, so uh, uh, Miss, 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 Miss Blige, are you still working as a lover and a secretary? <laughs> okay, we'll put that down as income. <laughs> Not the lover and the secretary. You said you were a secretary for over 11 years, right? You can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. J. Blige, how are you doing? So you're an R&B singer <laughs> and a secretary. <laughs> That's just stupid. I, I cry too a nigga took half of my money. The whole head. Um, the whole half. I cry on taxes, damn near. Half. Half? Half. That nigga ain't half. no joke. Half. Half. That's 50%. It ain't about if he wrote him. You his wife. He was with you. He laid dick while you was writing him. So half of them jokes is his, Miss Pat. I don't you remember married. no dick. Everything is half. I don't remember no dick, Carlo. OK. I don't remember. <laughs> Y'all got kids with some more shit. My kid grown as fuck. He can have a kid back. I don't like they fat ass in the way. Let's these divorce proceedings ain't gonna get out of hand. I'm telling you. He can have the motherfucker right over. It's gonna take a nigga like me to get a divorce to be in there asking for some shit. Ain't nobody asking. I want one of them titties. I want one of the shit. One of them titties is mine. We splitting everything else. I want one of them titties. I, I got a friend who getting a divorce. I can't say her name, but no. <laughs> this nigga. He asked for them titties back. No, he oh. asked for their daughter car back. He bought her when she graduated from college. Because the, because the daughter liked the mama on the mama side. So he said, well, in the divorce procedure, I want my car back for my daughter. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, you ain't even divorcing the daughter. Asking for everything. That's what she get. He wanted shit. That's what she get. He got petty. That's what. That, that's all he got left. That Start asking asked, for some shit that they ain't seen for a long time. He asked for everything in the storage shit, and they ain't been to the storage shit in 10 exactly. years. Exactly. Ain't no telling what's in there. I want my motherfucking uh, track suit that I won at the 96 Olympics. <laughs> uh, shoot, the all I had. The only one got the top and the bottom. It's large and it's rare, and they going five, six hundred dollars a piece. I want that back. It's probably in their storage. Matter of fact, I want the whole story. I tell you every day. What you if mean? he opened it and ain't nothing but her shit? She been through that nigga shit out. Yeah. It's all her shit in there. <laughs> Well, I guess he'll get him some weeds. Just a bunch of pictures of her with the new nigga from a long time ago. She been fucking with him. Mm -mm. Well, I guess he'll get him some weeds. Right. <laughs> Let me go ahead. <laughs> okay, I, I, I can sell this for about 16K. Maybe a quick 16. Shit. That hurt. That make it hurt even, even more, though. Just having to come up off that money. Somebody, somebody get it back. Cause you somebody don't even want no more. Marriage is like this. You can, I mean, it's just money. You can make that money, money back for that for that uh -huh. peace of mind. No, it ain't. Look how long it's yeah, you can. No, yeah, you, you can, can make you can. that. You selfish. You can just make the fucking money back if it's gonna give you a That's peace of mind. That's what they say. That's what they say. No, nope. Quincy Jones said that shit. Oh, you see, y'all trying to do y'all trying to do the right thing. Mm -mm. Well, what you gonna do if you married a bitch and she asks for half? I'm gonna be a white man when I go to court. What you gonna do? I'm gonna hire them motherfuckers who be like, you're gonna take this bitch to court and we're gonna maul her like a tiger. That is not what white men do. Yes, the fuck they do. No, hey, they do. Hey, when, I, when I get through with her, she won't be able to get a fucking Macy's card. <laughs> Better call a She won't be card. able to check out books from the public fucking library. <laughs> We're going all the way back to 87. <laughs> you got all your paperwork, right? So I've had a private eye. That's when your lawyer tells you some stupid shit. Start staying at the Motel 6. Even if you don't stay there, get a fucking room and keep your receipts. We're going to bleed this bitch for everything she has. <laughs> That's the lawyer I'm hiring. I'm hiring the little geek lawyer. He got the little vest with the comb over. Every time he comes to court, yes, I'm sorry if I'm late, Your Honor. <laughs> I was just going over some paperwork with my client, and I think you'll find it very interesting. You want the lawyer? You want that lawyer? The that's nigga the, that takes shit too far? That's the nigga you're going to lose. The petty nigga. He, like, he getting divorced. We want the cat and the puppies. No, that's the lawyer that get the private investigator. Hey, man, how much this yeah. divorce going to cost me? If you give me you two see. of those puppies, they'll call it even. That's you had a private eye following your daughter around. I didn't ask for that. What <laughs> the fuck is you doing? <laughs> Snap some pictures of her at the park. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> hey, hey, so I was at your daughter's school today. She's on the wife's side. What the fuck? 
and crop the fucking wife in it. Exactly. And accuse the wife of sleeping with the pool boy. Hey, did you know your mother-in-law bought a house in Florida? <laughs> Okay, so I just set her house on fire. All right, I'm coming to pick hey, you up. Hey, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> so the lawyer don't turn out to be the crazy one? Yes, exactly. He obsessed. He hired somebody. See, we can pitch shows all day. Uh, uh, we pitch it to a show creator now, you see. You are? That's you. I'm not here for no fucking, I'm not buying. <laughs> tell me about, tell me about your show then. I, shit. Yeah, I told you the shit wasn't gonna work. No, I told you not to do it. Yeah, niggas right, confusing me. I'm like, what I told you you need, a, you need a desk, It nigga. was a good idea, it sounded real good. I, I like the lawyer. You liked it. I didn't like that bullshit he was talking about, see? but I like the lawyer. God damn it, I started to come by myself for this pitch meeting anyway, see? That's why we told him 8.30. No. <laughs> Oh now what is God. how is it uh you know bringing your show to life you know you've waited all this time to bring it out so it took well I didn't wait all this time they waited all that I'm time trying to make the shit sound good it ain't no good it's hard work behind this shit you know that shit right. we started around the same time um we went through three networks three writers and finally got the shit together it, it was it was not easy a bunch of no's and a bunch of mother it's, you know the thing in, in Hollywood is you try to keep you try to I tried to keep my voice and that was the hardest thing because they would take you to me and they they, they, they would clown your ass up if you let them and, and I told them I remember telling them in, inside of, of um when we was pitching one time I said one thing we're not gonna do I'm not that fat girl they're gonna take pies to the face you're not gonna hit me in my face with no pie. I'm not gonna fall over no sofa. I'm not that active like that. Oh. I need to be a mama like I am today. Ain't no slapstick. That's no, how ain't they no slapstick. You? I don't dance, I don't hop, I don't scop, I don't do none of that bullshit. And just to keep my voice original, it was really hard because we almost shot this shit two years ago for Fox. Yeah, about three years ago for Fox. And I was like, I pulled a plug. I was like, I can't get on TV like this. These niggas ain't gonna never forgive me. Mm. What know, they you, had you doing? They had you doing all the flips and nah, slipping on had, shit. It just didn't seem. It didn't wasn't real. It was watered down. It was no. It was it wasn't good at all to me. So I was like, oh, we ain't gonna be do this. And everybody was like, you you gonna fucking pull out on Fox? I said, look, you can't never give me more money than I can steal. So. Miss Pat, wait a minute. That is the most brilliant shit. <laughs> So when you, you when nobody can up. never give you the more money that, that you can steal, then I don't have to suck dick for money. So, I mean, I'm old, you know, I got vertigo, so I can't suck dick anyway, because it, it make me dizzy. So I decided <laughs> to just wait. Why are you looking around like you're looking around for something? Because you fucking lost me. <laughs> vertigo, it makes you dizzy. So if you're trying to suck a dick, the dick is waving back and forth, you can't catch a hold to it. Who dick waving back and forth? Oh, you man. never had vertigo? Vertigo make you spin around in a circle. Mm -mm. So I stopped sucking dick when I got vertigo. You think that's what caused it? I just know I can't concentrate. So it's just that's just off the table. Not even if you like lay sideways. <laughs> when you got yeah. vertigo, it's not good to hold your head down, Carlos. I'm saying, like, like say you was laying like from the side. <laughs> you was just laying like you was already laying down. <laughs> I don't think nobody do it like that, Carlos. I'm just saying. You, you right, I'm just, where's Stop the wheel? Create... There's a way. <laughs> well, how about we don't want no wheel or no way? I think you're just using this as an excuse. <laughs> I get dizzy. I get dizzy when you go. Well, well. I guess you get dizzy. dizzy if you get dizzy right? sucking my dick, suck it in a circle. You got to step up, move the ground the whole time so you don't get dizzy. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what's going on. my husband watch this shit. <laughs> you gonna come to my house and see little circles walk down the carpet. Girl's been around, she got vertigo. Yeah, she got vertigo. <laughs> Hang the bitch on the ceiling fan and just throw the dick oh. in there. And then. <laughs> well, oh, but it was, it was not easy bringing it. Like, it took five fucking years of hard work, but we, we here. Exactly. We here. That's what's up. Hell yeah. That's what's up. That's why we created this show, because they told us it wasn't gonna work. Really? Like a motherfucker. <laughs> God damn, this shit working like gangbusters. You, you pitched this to a TV network? Man, you'd be surprised how many motherfuckers was bullshitting when we were trying to tell them what it was. I was like, nigga, I can't tell you. You just got to see the shit. And they were like, I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you what, don't sign anything, not talk to you. We <laughs> ain't heard from them niggas. I ain't seen them. I wish the fuck I would have took that advice. Man. 
but I mean, the good part I'll is. I'll be somewhere saying, I paid for your thoughts. <laughs> Just a joke for the road, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Coming right up. Hold on, let me get into my let magic jokes. Right? I've written over 13,000 jokes, you know that, right? <laughs> what you want, love, sex, oh. spirituality? Nigga, not the poem, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> not the poem, nigga. <laughs> but the gamma is you gambled on yourself and you started this shit. And I mean, that's one of the reasons why I started my podcast, too. Right. Because I figure it's always good as a comic for us to have our own shit that we can own. Right. You know, I typically people all the time, I said, that is not my TV show. It got my name on it. I get paid from it. But at the end of the day, it's their fucking response. That's their show. They can cut that motherfucker off TV anytime they want to. But right. you can't you can't fuck with my stand-up. You can't fuck with my podcast. Because that's the shit I own. So that's the shit I invest the most in. Right. Because when they come back and take their shit back, I can still eat. I saw it happen firsthand. I was right there. They were like, well, well yeah. Man, we ain't got no job no more. Just take the shit off there. Somebody got mad over some oh. shit that was said. Oh, yes, I know. Take what off of air? I mean, a whole ass TV show. You had one? I mean, I was I, the show I was working on. What was the name of it? <laughs> I'm serious, nigga. I don't watch TV. I watch The Handmaid Tale. I like to see white clicks get cut off. Handmaid. What was that's what that show about? Why All them bitches was made. Oh, fuck yeah. Now, my kids watch that shit. You done got Miss Pat high. Oh, yeah, I think he had. <laughs> <laughs> she got vertigo. I don't know what's, I don't know what's oh, going well, on. Yeah, you say the wrong thing, they take the whole shit off. So and that's why it's good to exactly. own your... Exactly. Yeah. You can't fuck with Hollywood like that. They only want you when somebody else busts you open. <laughs> the fucked up part about it, if I've known him for 20 years, he had like everything come out of my mouth. It's shocking to him. What the fuck is wrong with you, Carlo? God damn. Mm. We did open mic together. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <laughs> the motherfuckers in Hollywood sit back and watch this shit every Friday like, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> They're not yet. They just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently they like weed. We're gonna weed these things to death. <laughs> well, I don't like weed because I don't smoke it. I'm gonna just take it in so I can I have appetites when I, I leave here. I stopped smoking. I forgot. I lit it up. I put it out out of respect. I forgot. I try to respect wigs and I mean, ladies who wear them. What you said? Them shits was a thousand dollars. You know, watch where you dumping your ashes. A thousand dollar wig, bro. You fuck around and smoke around there. That bitch be done caught. The like, wig? The wig. A thousand dollars, that bitch still alive. You don't, you don't buy your girl a thousand dollar wig? Fuck what? no. You don't know you do, but you do. No, the fuck I do. I know if I buy some thousand dollar shit, Miss Pat. Did you get her hair fixed? Uh, excuse me? Who broke her hair? What? Why it need to be fixed? Who broke it? <laughs> Carl, you ain't shit. <laughs> you ain't shit, Carl. Uh, <laughs> who broke this? <laughs> nah, it's bad. You know, if, yeah. if that's what she want to do, I, whatever. I know. I know you that type of, of brother. Type of nigga. If, if that's what she want to do. I know. I've seen you in action. Don't you be playing. You ain't seen me in action like that, buying no thousand dollars worth of weave and shit now. Mm -mm. Well, I'm hoping that you do some shit like mm -hmm. that. No. Uh -huh. I see the, I don't see the type of women I like don't even want no thousand dollars worth of weed. I'm talking about that weed. I'm talking about just don't, my girl don't need. She she probably Your stopped it by she got hair. Mm. See? She, she white? got hair. We got, she got to You take a bitch with a red chair. Why she got to be white? Because, wait exactly. a minute. Don't be on here accusing wait, him wait, of wait no slanderous flavor and shit like that. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> this ain't, this is not the 85 South Show. No, 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 no. Not on this Clay. platform. Wait a minute, motherfucker. There's black men with black women yeah. with black children on this motherfucker. Oh, okay, motherfucker. Okay. Shit. Let me, Clay. Nigga ate a baby sandwich. What this the fuck made you, you think shit? What the fuck made you think somebody wear wigs ain't got no hair? No, no, no. I'm saying. That's the reason why I she spend does. money on go get yourself together. That's not no thousand dollars. Right. She said I need thousand dollars to get my hair together. I'm gonna have to go watch this get done. Right. Right. Come. Right here. Whatever, hey, whatever she do no, with her allowance. No, because he said she had hair. Whatever so she I'm, do with her allowance. Ain't no need. Nigga, I got no, hair, I too. I just put on a fucking weed. Okay. I know, but if the weed is thousand dollars, we're going to have to work with what you got. That's exactly. what I'm saying. <laughs> you don't need no thousand dollars worth of shit. Get a ponytail. How much the ponytails cost? Nigga, that's 1982. 350? <laughs> Get you a ponytail? <laughs> that no motherfucking ponytail cost no motherfucking 350. I'm shit. talking about something. If, if the wig is $1,000, you better get it in Stop pieces. Stop doing that shit. Why you got 
Some motherfuckers rent ain't a thousand dollars. What the fuck she need a thousand dollars? Oh, everybody rent in Atlanta a thousand dollars. Now nigga, let's, I, even even on motherfucking Hill Street, that the rent is a thousand. I mean, more than a thousand dollars. Oh yeah, you got them past that shouldn't be costing no rent. Definitely. Nowhere. Absolutely. Where you gonna live at for less than a thousand dollars a month? I don't know. Where the fuck is you going that you need a thousand dollar weed? To eighty five South, nigga. Shit, you wear a ball cap in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> don't nobody give a fuck what you. I'm, I'm the only one gonna be fucking you. What you do? You think I give a uh, fuck about them? Man? <laughs> man, these niggas ain't, don't stimulate me like that. <laughs> we best out there. Oh, you don't like it, nigga? Look at your brain. What, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Those was the little ball head bitch. Your auntie. <laughs> yeah, fucking auntie. That's who she is. <laughs> Don't you ever disrespect us. <laughs> Don't you ever call up and talk about Clayton like that again. Mm -hmm. No, ain't nothing wrong with, with, you know, reasonable shit. You got to take care of your lady. You want her to look her best? Yeah. Hell yeah, go get that shit done. Yeah, Some motherfuckers best, might, but... you know, that mm -hmm. shit is extreme. They might need, you know, a little extra care. Sometimes it ain't even just about the hair. Just need a new outfit. You got a thousand dollar wig on, you need to be bringing ten thousand home. No, you don't. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So you just supposed to lay yes, around no. talking shit and get thousand dollar half thousand every other day. It's episode. price ranges. Hey, so you you why hit your price point. Well, they need the motherfuckers. They do. They got him fucking for free anyway. Yeah. Fucks for free. A lot of them. And only fans. That's for only fans. I'm not Ain't a fan. fucking on that. They just planning that's, themselves. Well, that's fine. You playing your whole self. They getting money off there too. I know. I know. I quite a few people. I want them to buy me a truck. They on here bragging about all this money they got. Ain't spent nothing on the niggas. I don't yeah. know. Do men have only fans? I'm sure they do. do they Somebody got to fuck these women. You can't. What? Yeah, they need OnlyFans niggas to fuck the OnlyFans women in the OnlyFans video. Have you ever been? You ain't got to fuck to be on OnlyFans. You can get on that bitch and read erotic fiction. That's what I do. <laughs> That's what I do. You know what I do on my own? I'm going to start the OnlyFans <laughs> and just listen just to women. Read that like, shit, bro. <laughs> Really? I'm, I'm gonna do that shit. I'll be That's reading it. my book in English. Herotic. Well, pronounce that word again? You said herotic. That's, that's <laughs> herotic. That's, that's even. That's even nasty. Yes, yeah, some herotic. I'm gonna do it in my manly Freddy voice Cougar too. Be fine. What, say, what is the word again? Herotic. Herotic. You put Moist. an H on it. That's yours now. Okay. Her, you, what what, you, what it was supposed to be? Erotic. Oh, erotic. Is that but don't keep no, the keep the, shit, the keep the shit with the H. Keep the shit you said. Because you done brought whores to the table. Make it be whore erotic. Niggas like, will be looking, because niggas going to be looking for erotic, but they going to see erotic. They going to be like, oh. So do you say, what do you say? Erotic booty hole in different colors. You, you can say that. I don't know if that's a cold word that, you know, you say to a freak and she get nasty immediately. What is it, Quisha? Erotic booty holes in different colors. Then her eyes roll in her head and she just starts sucking dick. That sounds like one of them porno that movies that be a... trying to sell on the cable package. <laughs> Erotic booty holes for What the fuck? When did 3 and 2 come out? That shit come on Channel 99. Do y'all watch porn? Yeah. yeah. Not I don't really. watch too much. I don't watch porn. I yeah. like the shit when I was too young to be watching porn. I like you, the ghetto ass porn. Then I don't just, like porn. Like you was talking about the OnlyFans shit. It just yeah. be like a, just a hood bitch who work it hardest just in the in the car playing with a titty on a lunch break. <laughs> with the dirty uniform on. But that's down. You can't see none of that. All that's Nigga, that hardest people got that shit all up here. That you icy see fucking name motherfucking tag, donuts. Yeah. I like the hood shit. You like to see hood bitch? Yeah, just regular hood I don't shit. like porn. I do. I, I don't want to meet Jesus with that. With porn? Yeah, you know, he, they say everything you do, he gonna wipe it back at you and show you what you did. He know what well, you he did. Saw it. He saw who did it. I was just watching it. <laughs> <laughs> you was there when they taped it, Jesus. <laughs> don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. But why we watching it again? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the thing. You gonna let me in or not? God ain't bad like that. <laughs> You ain't gonna let me in and just say that, my nigga. You ain't gonna embarrass me. You yeah. gonna sit up here and watch me jack my dick and do all the fucking footage, man. You wild, boy. You the fuck, that's the fuck up. You sure you ain't the devil? Y'all definitely related, because this is hell. This is hell. I gotta sit here with my savior and my dick out. Just imagine. Just bro. send me down there, bro. Where the elevator? <laughs> just imagine, nigga, you in heaven. 
all of a sudden you hear Jesus' voice. Hey, who let him in here? <laughs> Get his freaking ass out of here! <laughs> Gang bang bitches! Gang, Gang bang, bang bitches! <laughs> really? Man, get in the box. I don't want him up here with us. Hey, hey, hey. Brazilian bubble butt. Oh, Jesus, that nigga. Oh, okay. That freaking nigga came back. Uh, and, 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 he and, he's, and he uncircumcised. Lord, Lord. When he died, he left one on pause. He was the hardest bitch playing with a nipple in the parking lot. Jesus, that forgive weird. you. I, I, I asked for forgiveness, man, what for that? watching the porn. You Jesus, better. you heard me ask for forgiveness. Now, why you let him pass? everything else, and then Jesus just like, hey, man, we got to talk about this porn <laughs> shit, man. Right, all this other shit. I don't like it. Don't do anything for me. Okay. Well, you got vertigo. But you, so. you. <laughs> I also <laughs> had kids in elementary school, so. God damn. That probably fucked me up there, too. <laughs> elementary school? Mm-hmm, seven, eight, great. You know, oh, I was hey, done. you had. First baby at 14. Seventh grade. Seventh I don't know that. When, how long you went to school? All the way? No, nah, I had another baby. Eighth grade, I dropped out. Eighth. Hey. Yeah, nigga, I had to go find out how to feed these babies and shit. Yeah. So you Makes can't. Sense. Yeah, man. I didn't have a lunch car for all of us, so I had to let my lunch go and go home and feed them. Shit. Uh, that's crazy. You on here blaming me for shit? What you mean blaming you for shit? You said I had to hold you. I, he was, I only had one baby daddy at the time. Oh. I was 14, 15 when I had him. Oh. Shit. I was just finger fucking by then. At 15, I started having some real sex. 15? Yeah. I, I, don't, I didn't know what finger was. Oh, I had like, I was good at that shit. I'm, I still am. Bus ride. Don't you, finger, you finger people on the bus? That's, yeah. That people little need, kid shit. Need to know this. Fingered around the world. People need to know this. I thought you want a hoe. No, I'm just saying, I've been around the world and I fingered around the world. It's not like I went around the world two fingers. I do. <laughs> so happy. Oh, we went to the ring. Passport. <laughs> went in Rome. Got to do what the Romans is doing. Is that what they're doing? I mean. If you introduce it to him. <laughs> oh, so. You motherfucker crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you started you, this shit, man. You did it. 85 South Show, man. We back. Let's go. <laughs> man, we in here talking shit with Miss Pat today. Don't you ever forget it. BET Plus. Make sure you Let's download go. the app and go watch Miss Pat's new Don't show. Don't share your fucking password, Pat, sure. black people. It's only $9.99. Damn. Look, we, they can't handle it over there. I need you to, I need everybody to log on individually. Right. Yeah. Don't, don't, yeah, don't share your shit. Stream that shit. Let's blow it up yeah. and make have it the you number seen one it? show. No. You have I it? don't have it yet. The fuck you waiting on? I gotta now? get it. Nigga, I watched you on Last Comedy Standard every episode. Yeah, but mine was Matter free. Matter of fact, you beat me. Mine was free. I don't give a fuck. I was there for you. I'm gonna watch it though. It just, it, when did it come out? Last week. Okay. The first week is everything. Okay. Well, I'm gonna watch it this week. I'm going home getting BT Plus. Yeah, put the baby movie. in the closet and watch the show. Not the baby in the closet. No, I'm just gonna put, even. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want him hollering, you gonna miss some fucking jokes and the baby get the holler. I'm just gonna put that bitch on and I'm gonna run it <laughs> while he's up, hollering, and then I'm gonna put him down and I'm gonna run it again. That way it's running. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Did I don't know how the streaming stream. shit works. My cable fucked up. I got cable, but it's fucked up right now. Your phone, Carlos. I mean, I'm down, I got the app. We got you. Yeah. We got I'm you. I'm gonna watch it. Well, they slow about doing it. Fans, y'all going down. I like it. Been. Because this is gonna be after the, 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 that anyway. So by the time they see this, mm -hmm. we'll have seen it. Right. And now but you won't be done talking like, about it. It be on recording. But we, see, we shoot Man, this in the future. So we in the future right now. Man. So I can tell them how great it was because that shit was motherfucking <laughs> amazing. Miss Pat did some shit on that bitch that I ain't really seen been done. The way I she really enjoyed blend, the clips. The stand up with the actual show. And she really get to be herself up in there. You know what I'm saying? She go crazy. <laughs> she really, Miss Pat will really say, fuck them kids. Yeah. And that, she taking it there. Yeah. 
Well, and, a, and a lot of this is pulled from Miss Pat real life. Stand right. up. Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, yeah. real life too, because you said real the daughter was a, uh, She's gay. Yeah. yeah. And see, I don't know if I can America say that. America loves black women. They do. They love exactly. us. Exactly. You about to take over. You about to goddamn. You about to be new America's new mama. Um, but well, this shit is amazing because we'd have seen it now. Because this is, by the time this has come out, we have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never did a podcast in the future. <laughs> Nigga, no, nah, I ain't never did it that far in the future. You got me confused. <laughs> you got me Yeah, high. this shit probably number one while we talking about it. Like, we probably not. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, by the time this hit. <laughs> by the time it drops, we gonna go ahead and claim it season two. They gonna go ahead and... I need season two. I do, oh, I, do. Yeah, I, do. I do. Let's put it out there. Season two. Let's put it out there. Sign this pack to a five-season deal. Come on, man. The fuck is wrong? Come with y'all, let's go. So I can pull some of my Atlanta comedian let's friends on go. there with me. I'll be on that. Let I me almost up. called you this season. You should have. Well, came some shit happened and we couldn't fit you in, but I, I was very close to calling call you. Call me this for, season. I will call you call this season. Call me for some random shit. I need you. I'm, I'm going to have you picking up a fat bitch running down the street with her. You think but, I want to do it? Strong as fuck, Miss Pat. OK, I got you. I got you. Just I, keep I, it reasonable. What you mean? <laughs> Keep it reasonable. 175? Keep it reasonable. How far you need me to run? 175? How far you need me to run? What? Uh, probably two blocks. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to all the big women. Why big women always ask if men like big women? I don't know why they, they ask like I don't know why they ask. I don't, I don't know. I never ask nobody if they like me. They like, you like big women? Would trick me. Just, just, just convince Are me. Are you talking about you? Yeah. They actually do. They, they actually always like. ask me that. Well, some people don't like fat girls. Who don't like fat girls? Clayton. You don't even know. You even know us. You don't know us at all. <laughs> you know nothing. You just keep doing my <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, you just doing shit my direction <laughs> without knowing much at all. I don't know why people. Because ask, if I don't you know, why know women ask that. This I don't know. Know. You from is my I friend. I never asked nobody. Did they like that girl? We from the hood. Girl. We are hood niggas. In we BMW. like women. So what do you say when the women actually do you like fat girls? I don't do all that discrimination. I don't do all that. You, I don't you like might see me with any kind of long, like like this skinny kind of girl, fat I don't like, booty. Well, do you like big women? At that point, do you even like women if you got a whole laundry list of shit you don't like? Some people, some so people what, don't what, like what, certain what? things. I like titties. I don't like. I've been with women who oh, look like big like women, titties. and they just got big titties, and then you be like, and then you just hug the titties, you be like, the rest of you little, but these titties. I don't like I don't like small dudes, real skinny dudes. Yeah. I used to back in the day. I don't anymore. Okay. They hurt my inner thighs. Oh. You know, so I prefer somebody who, who can bounce back off my thighs. Cause a little nigga beat you up like a victim. Yeah. So I want me a fat dude who you know two three pumps and we go to sleep at the same time. Right. You Just know. Bouncy house. Yeah. I don't need nobody. I don't need nobody gonna ask me to get on top. You know, I don't need all of that action. Yeah, in my and life. then people gotta understand that it's okay to have preferences. Yeah, it's okay. Like I don't, I don't like women with little asses. Because any, I'm not about to argue with you. First of all, I'm not doing that. You got a little ass booty. It's like, what are you yelling at me for? I didn't you know. haven't enough ass. You don't got enough ass to talk to me like that. Why you don't like a lady with no ass? Just they aggravate the fuck out of me. What if their titties are big but they don't have no ass? They can slap. <laughs> yeah, we know. They <laughs> slap. Titties on the list. Right here. Come on in, Titties. Oh, come on. Titties. All right. Titties is no, on that's the all list. Right, though. That's all right, though. It's all right. What out of three ain't bad. What do you like? Little booty women cool until you're around some women with some fat asses. <laughs> you don't even know you miss a fat ass till you see one. He'd be like. Why is ass so important? We black. It's in our DNA. I can't even answer that question, honestly. It's just Do you like fake asses? Disrespectful no. ass. No. You ever had a fake ass? Yeah. Well, do they move? Uh -uh. Some of them do. All of them Is it know. weird? Yeah, not really. It depends on the, on the ass. Now, not one of them asses that look like somebody just, like, took a suction ass and, like, sucked it on them. <laughs> <laughs> they they ass buckle in the front. Right. No, nah, not that not that security <laughs> belt ass. I'm talking about some ass that used to be stomach that got moved around to some ass. Yeah, it's different types of ass yeah. out there. Some of that ass can just come from elsewhere. Right. Yeah. That's not But that ass is okay. I mean, 
it's not. I prefer an ass than she. It grew. was in you. It just, just like, do you like a lady with a lot of plastic surgery? No. I'm from Mississippi. We don't, we don't do all that. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, but you know, you, you <clears throat> shit change, Carlo. No, it don't. Not that. I mean, you can get a different breed Who of women. You, you ain't gotta get them bitches. Are. Who, Who do you fry? think we are? You don't have to get them bitches. You can fry chicken good anymore. You right? Yeah. You are right. Cause sometimes, Miss Pat, they be so goddamn fine. They be like, "Bitch, I find us some food. You ain't gotta cook shit." Exactly. So that's why I asked you, do you like a lady with a lot of plastic surgery? What the fuck they got to do with fried chicken? You little bitch, you can't cook. I don't, I don't do the plastic. Shout out to them, but I'd much rather prefer some real shit. I'm a real nigga. So I free mean... scratch moths won't turn you off? Fuck, no. I got a few. <laughs> <laughs> got more stretch marks than these hoes hollering. They got rank. That nigga said he got a few scratch marks. I have a few. Shit. <laughs> well, nigga, you claim to do somebody one day, you done got some scar glass cut on the side nah, of your side or some nah, shit. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I like how you try to keep shit a secret. <laughs> what you want to know about me, Miss Perry? What do you think that, about I'm, you, Carlo. that I'm hiding from you? Nothing. I, I know a lot about you. I know more than you think I know. Good. We, we grew up together. Believe it. How old are you now? 38. That's all? That's it. Nigga, no. Come I'm on. that much older than you. Yep. Wow. No fucking clue. No clue. I've just been around for a long time. Well, you've been doing it 16 years. I'm almost 20. Yeah. How long are you in it, um, Clay? Same. 16. Yeah, because y'all came right after I did, right after I started. Yeah, we was in there. Talking that shit. But then never quit. Just in that, that's the hard part, isn't it, to this bullshit, not quitting. Shit. Did you ever get to fighting? Did I? Mm -hmm. No. Nah, I ain't had no comedy fights with no comedians. I had a few. I know. You had comedy <laughs> fights. Who? On stage. Yeah, off stage. Frozen Palace? Who the fuck didn't fight in the Frozen Palace? <laughs> Me. I fought with Dirty South in, in the Frozen Palace. Yeah. That Y'all had a few fights, then. No, nah, just Dirty one. South. <laughs> Word to Dirty South, man. Yeah. What was y'all fighting about? Dirty South, I don't know what was wrong with Dirty South that night, but I, that night I had on a dress, and I usually don't wear dresses. I kicked that bitch like a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> I kicked the shit out of the oh, bitch. Oh, man. She was like, you young bitches wanna beat me? I think I'm like three, four years in comedy. She, you know, she get off stage, you know how she used to rip at Frozen Palace and shit, that, that old nigga yeah. ass crowd. And then I'm standing there with my friend who just came back, he, he's a, I think he was in first year military or college or some shit. And I'm like, come on, go up into the first panel. They do open mic. And Dirty South, shout out all of us in that motherfucker, cram pack. And she ripped that motherfucker. And Every then time. Yeah, so I'm, you remember how they used to have that little crazy. VIP right there in front of the stage? Yeah. And so you, I'm standing right there on those steps. She walking me to young bitches like you want to beat me, but you can't. I said, you ugly ass bitch. And I kicked that hoe. I slid my feet out the motherfucking slides I had on and kicked that hoe so hard like a donkey. She went flying. <laughs> I said, bitch, you'll be fucking with me. I, back in the day, I would fight. I didn't give a fuck. You know how I fight, Carlo. Mm -hmm. I had many motherfucking fights in this shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Bro, you just, the Frozen Palace was a very special place, man. It was a it lot was, going on. I ain't had no comedy fights. No, nah, we ain't had to beat nobody. We, we, people get beat up before we would go on stage. Yeah, Dirty South was hosting that time, too. Who? Little dude got his ass whooped. Yeah. Big dude stood up and didn't stop standing up. He said something to the dude in the front. He was a comedian? Yeah. Dude on stage, yeah, the comedian. He ain't no comedian no more. We don't know what his name yeah, is. What's his name? Man. I'll tell you. After this. <laughs> yeah. You talk like y'all been sued around this motherfucker. Yeah, I'm just like, saying, he might come out the woodwork and be like, man, you know, you know I'm still fucked up. But that nigga slapped me across the stage. Yeah. He slapped him across the stage. Oh, man, yeah, that look. nigga eight ball corner pocket. <laughs> like on the cartoon. Who the fuck was that? 
Hey man, when that nigga stood up, he was like that nigga was standing up forever. <laughs> that nigga did not stop standing up because he was talking comic. shit. Yeah, very yeah, really. tall. He was, he was with his ever. girl. The dude in order with his girl. I He's know who that there. is, <laughs> nigga. I know who that is. I know wow. he, he been getting slapped a lot, a lot. I know who that but check is. Check this out. The fucked up part is, nigga. What whole time the nigga, we been doing comedy how long? A year? Maybe, maybe a year. The whole time the nigga getting beat up, scores. He never let the mic go. <laughs> so you heard Rest every the punch, every kick. So hold the microphone the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all being comedians, y'all didn't go out there and help your fellow brother. Fuck no. Nah. We didn't First even of know all, we don't like even that. know where we at. This is like our second time even coming in this bitch, you know? We on a whole nother side of town. We're not just We in Wesley shit. Chapel, we at scores. This shit. Oh, you at scores. I remember scores. Man, Dirty South hosting. Word that nigga still she grabbed the, the mic. Up. He he let the mic go. The mic done rolled across. Him. She walked up. <laughs> oh, yeah. She walked up and grabbed the mic. Call out. No, no, hold on, 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 hold on. You gotta remember what security did, bro. Before you tell that part, you gotta tell him what security did. Bro. What he do? Security was big as shit, right? <laughs> that nigga would not get into the fight, nigga. He was like, hey! <laughs> Hey! <laughs> hey! Y'all stop that fight now! Y'all gotta go outside with that fight! That nigga just like, he, he just made them go out. So like, like, I'm like, yo, help this nigga out, bro. This nigga is, cause he was little and he was around the nigga's legs and the nigga was just, he was wailing on this <laughs> nigga. Nigga, I used to love to see uh, fights at Uptown. But then what Dirty do? Dirty, just what he said. Hey, the microphone this rolled out across the floor. She grabbed it. She walked up and grabbed me. Call out your neck. <laughs> Nigga, did you go on? Yeah, I thought this up. nigga looked at me. You know, like, I had to go up and talk about the fight. <laughs> this nigga was like, next. I thought the show was about to like, be over. Nigga, to get your ass whooped, man. <laughs> man, one time I went and did a show with Dirty South on the west side. What was it? I mean, east side over there. What was that shit? O'Reilly's, that little bit of that club with them heaters yeah. in it. Them heaters in it. Remember, motherfucker, just walk in. It's like, as soon as you walk in, it's a wall, and then that's it. That's the whole club. It's like a fucking <laughs> tent. But they had them fucking, like, them outside heaters in that bitch, them big gas heaters. Man. Bro, she brought me on stage and left. <laughs> Where did she go? I don't fucking know. They fucked around and gave her the money when the show started. Dirty South left that motherfucker. And didn't pay you. <laughs> she left. I got my money, but she left. Once man. The, hey man, I don't know. And who, who was the next? Who you had to finish the show? Nigga, it was just me, and she left. <laughs> How much time did you have? Nigga, I don't even know. I'm thinking she coming back. I didn't talk to these folks as long as I fucking could. That's like, hey man, I don't know what the fuck dirty at. You just go ahead in that shit. Have y'all ever gotten fucked out of your money? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I've never been fucked out of my money. One time, Al Tillman tried to. Al, I, I fuck him. Where Al, was this? So we, me and uh, Steve Brown went down and did a show for Al Tillman. And I'm a hood bitch. You ain't gonna take my motherfucking money. So Al Tillman rented this theater like he always doing. Oh, Def Tillman the Jam. So you know the first joke a motherfucker learn when you first learn comedy is you come on stage, you say, uh, well, whoever put this motherfucker lost tonight. And I said that shit, and he got so motherfucking mad at me. And he held my money. Nigga, I ran out there on his car, me, Steve Brown. I jumped on that nigga car and held that windshield wiper. We ain't had no cell phone back then. I mean, had, had no cell phone back then. And you know, Steve Brown got that little squeaky voice. Ah, hey, get that girl, get her money. Hey. I said, nigga, you fucked Al. Call 911 on this nigga. <laughs> so finally, the police came and made that motherfucker go to the ATM and get my money. Because the word, what he said was, I'm going to mail you your money. I said, no, nah, nigga. My husband ain't sent me out here for you to mail me my motherfucking money. you going to give me my money with your ugly ass preacher suit on. And it, <laughs> I was about to whoop that nigga ass, but I held on to that windshield wipe. He just kept going around in the circuit of the park like Steve Brown. Oh, wait a minute, the car was moving? Yeah, I'm on the windshield wipe, but just holding on to the you windshield wipe. You telling the whole... And nigga, that was $500, that was a lot of money back then. And he said, get the fuck out of my car. I said, nigga, I'm going to break your windshield, your wiper, I'm going to beat your ass, and all while that, uh, mm -hmm. Steve Brown said, ow! Can I get her got that mother? Ass. Just screaming in the background. Damn, <laughs> no. That's One time, crazy. me and this nigga was in St. Petersburg and literally. Oh, nigga. The whole club got to fight. Nigga, they. I remember that spot. Wasn't that Al's spot? No, nah, that was. I don't know. Uh, right in front of the hotel. 
Man, I don't know where that shit was, but that shit was on cue, man. They had that shit together. That bro. shit was in like an old lounge or some shit. I remember that spot. That yeah. nigga paid us $100 when we got there. Because he knew you might yeah, not knew he wasn't finna give us shit else and was trying to get us to do, y'all want a haircut? Y'all want something to eat? We was like, nah, nigga. We, don't want nothing. we want this show. We see where this is going. We want this show. How much bro. you was supposed to get? About what? Three, about three, four, three. Man, about, 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 yeah, no, it was five hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. Shit like that. It was, it was big because we went all the way down. I know he probably owed us five hundred dollars after the show. So the whole club got to fight and you didn't get shit. The Nigga. entire club. I mean, literally. The host hosted long, then bring this nigga up, and then like it was like eleven thirty four. Bottle broke and the whole club was. The I'm whole talking club. about grown men shoving. Bitches into walls <laughs> out the way. I was like, what the fuck? And then Buddy went and grabbed the goddamn. The nigga who brought us down goddamn there. Goddamn thing. The nigga came out with the big ass pistol. He, we were just standing in the club. We standing there watching the whole thing. And the nigga was acting like, and the nigga just like, next Friday. That nigga was like, <laughs> the nigga he was like, just so frantic with leave. the gun. Like, <laughs> nobody leave. <laughs> we like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This and, nigga's and not he, lying. What the fuck y'all do? Just stood there while this nigga waving the pistol. Man, we ducking. Bro, we, we, we waited we like this. We go to the door, right? The damn door locked. They locked you niggas in there? The whole club fighting. Me and this nigga walk back to the door, nigga. <laughs> and this shit was packed. So we looking for the other exit. We, like, but it, it ain't nowhere to go. This bitch is fighting all the way down this hallway. <laughs> It's, you know how you walk in the club, it's like two separate, but it's going like to the to the seat. Man, they fighting all the way down the wall. The DJ fighting three bitches. Oh, the <laughs> DJ. He the one the DJ. Out. The DJ shoved the, somebody so hard the wall shook and it was a brick wall. <laughs> Boom! I was like, what was that? They shooting. That's bunkers. what started. And you know, niggas never did get to fight. Man, hell no. Nigga, oh, I tell you, I tell you a Tyler These Craig niggas story. Knew each other. So you know when you Rest first get started, you really want to go on the road, and and you know I was doing my vending and shit, and, uh, and Cat William was just about to pop. You know you had heard his name, and he, he had just shot that special, but it didn't come out yet. And I flew all the way to Colorado for a guest spot. A guest spot. Tyler Craig was like, I'm gonna give you a guest spot. I ain't ask no promoter shit, nigga. I get up there, and the promoter say, this bitch ain't going up. I ain't tell you bring this bitch with you. <laughs> I done flew all the way to Colorado. <laughs> I never found out. I was crying so goddamn hard. Damn. I wanna kill Tom Craig. I said, you black motherfucker. You done made me fly all the way to Colorado for a guest spot. I wanted to kill him. Oh. I don't think I spoke to him for six months after that shit. Man, the craziest Tyler Craig story I got is one time me and Tyler was going to the comedy house. Yep, the comedy house. And he said, I know hey, Lo, hey, hey, Lo, you ain't got to drive nothing. My man going to pick us up, man. He got the car service. It's going to be nice, man. We're going to ride down <laughs> that motherfucking style, man. It's a plan. Just meet me at the McDonald's <laughs> on, um, what was, what's that exit? Way the fuck down 20, where that McDonald's at? Wait, it's way the fuck out there. I forgot the name. Um, way the fuck out there. So I meet him at the McDonald's. I pull up. It's early as fuck in the morning. We just sitting around waiting. I go in there, give me some breakfast. I come back out. I'm like, all right, man, what, a, what, a, you know, what a van at? And he's like, I don't know, man. Should be here in a minute. This nigga pulled up in a goddamn square body Lincoln <laughs> <laughs> limo. A limo. Meg, nigga. <laughs> he's like, come on, man, where y'all bags at? I'm like, Tyler, no the fuck you didn't. My ride been left. I can't even goddamn leave. I'm like, Tyler. No, I'm not gonna. He was like, man, it's good, man. We straight, bro. I'm telling you, man. Man, we get up in this motherfucking that limo. limo. <laughs> Nigga, the sunroof open the whole time. Because, <laughs> 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 like, when we left, he was like, man, y'all want me to open the sunroof? Man, the nigga kind of like, he just yeah, take it off. Man. <laughs> Man. So the motherfucker open the whole time because there ain't no way to close unless you stop. I was like, Tyler, boy, your head got me again, man. <laughs> no, let me tell you. Damn. So I had just bought, you remember when I used to have that black uh, trailblazer? I had just, my husband just bought me that motherfucking mama car, the trailblazer. So I pick up me, Tyler, and Dirty going on the show, right? So you know they always fucked around. So the nigga <laughs> got to fight in my motherfucking car. Ah, 
Oh, my car was a week old. <laughs> the, 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 the dirty talking shit. Nigga, she turned around, she was eating a mat, a big mat. She slapped Todd with that big mat. <laughs> that nigga took that bitch head and just no. whoa, a wolf for the back. I said, no, I just bought this car. That nigga damn near broke my seat with her head. I pulled on. He got out the car, took dirty head, and smashed it in the door. Just kept smashing. I said, God damn. God. Damn. <laughs> She said, you doing that because you want to fuck me. And they went upstairs. You remember they said, they lived in nobody at all. <laughs> she said, <laughs> that bitch said, you want to fuck me. And they went upstairs. And I had Big Mac sauce all over my motherfucking car. <laughs> she slapped that nigga with a Big Mac. That nigga took her head and slammed it in my dough. I was like, oh. I can't believe this shit. I don't fuck with you stupid nigga no more. And then they went upstairs and fucked. Mm. <laughs> 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 Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Mm. That's all I can think about when he died, too. That's how that nigga, she slapped that nigga with that Big Mac. And you know, they, the Mac don't give a fuck how much sauce they put on that they Big don't. Mac. <laughs> nigga, she hit that motherfucker and slid across his whole face. Damn. <laughs> that nigga whooping her ass with all that special Whoa. sauce on her face. Stop it. <laughs> Tyler used to stay upstairs right over there by the, uh, uh, the laughing skull. Man. Nigga, she said, you doing it because you want to fuck me, don't you, Tyler? And they went upstairs. And I had back, big mess I was all on a roof, nigga. I said, these two stupid motherfucking crackheads. Boy. Uh, <laughs> dirty South is a wild woman. That motherfucker, that motherfucker crazy. That motherfucker was funny, but though. That motherfucker was crazy. Because we became real good friends after I beat her up. She gonna she call me that bitch. Bitch, you ain't beat me. I'm gonna say, bitch, you were high. You don't remember. <laughs> 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 I, I used to fight all the time. Like when I moved from here, from Indiana, from Atlanta to Indy, nigga, I had to fight so many white comedians. Them motherfuckers crazy. What? <laughs> nigga, I don't play that shit. I'm a hood bitch. I, I had one white boy call me an ignorant black bitch. I said, now you know, ignorant fat black bitch. I said, now I can take the ignorant, but I can't do the fat. You can't call me fat, motherfucker. That, that, that hurt my feeling. I hit that nigga with my weak arm, my left arm, and I caught him with my right arm, and I tore that cracker ass up in that comedy club. He was like, he told the, he told the manager, get her, get her. He, the man said, she whooping your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I beat that well, I beat that motherfucker to death. I said, don't you, come, don't you call me fat, bitch. When you call me fat, that shit trickling my head, nigga. All the times I didn't eat, I'm this size for a reason, because I'm trying to, I'm like a bow, nigga. I'm trying to not never go hungry again. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> I beat that Trump. motherfucker ass. <laughs> nigga, I, I'm, I'm hopping niggas at all times. You gotta whoop their ass. They do shit like that. Wait a minute, so you was whooping white comedians ass. All the time when I moved to Indiana, it was another white lady. She she was talking, she was being racist to a, a, a Indian comedian. And so I was like, shut up, bitch! I'm screaming from the back of the club, shut up, bitch! So she decided to come outside. I'm standing outside on the phone. She decided to come outside and, uh, you know, put her hand in my face. My dad is a Supreme Court just, I said, bitch! You touch my nose. I tucked that bitch up finger and I bit it all the way back. I grabbed that hoe by her hair. Next thing you know, I had that bitch flying around like a kite. Just <laughs> <laughs> I had that bitch. My friend Dion, who on my fuck, he said, put it down, Miss Pat. I said, no, nah, this bitch put her face put on her my Put her down. Put her down, Miss Pat. I had one windmill and the shit out that bitch. I showed her, I said, bitch, don't you ever in your motherfucking life put your hands on me again, hoe. I'll kill you up in here. Oh, I fight, motherfucker. You I, had the nigga above your head like the beginning of Fresh Prince. You <laughs> so, so did. I got to fight with a young nigga one time at Morty's. Remember Morty's? How do you how do you fight these white people at the white club? Because everybody I know to fight at a white club, they get banned from every white club. That's because the they ain't city. selling no tickets. <clears throat> Well, I there wasn't selling no tickets at the time either. I don't know. That okay. was just my home club. I got to fight at an open mic. Oh, so this at the same club? At the same club. Oh, so you fight. was just, you, you was like defending your title. Y yeah. You know? <laughs> I got to fight with this young boy. He was up there doing Kevin Hart jokes. But he was being real racist. So I said, put me up after this nigga. So I go up and I said, look, white people, this is the nigga you should have hung, right? And he was like, I'm GD, bitch. I'm just a nigga. I'm a convicted felon. You scare them. You don't scare me. And he was like, I'll whoop your ass. Well, come on. So many niggas have tried. 
and a few have failed. And I said, now, hold on, let me take my airport wig off. So I took my wig off, I said, come on up here, nigga. He came up on that stage, Carlo, and my, my mind, all I saw was my first baby daddy nigga who shot me in the back of the head. My mind said, kill him. <laughs> nigga, I hit that nigga so motherfucking hard, and and I took my bro, my two titties on that nigga shoulder. I died on that. Nigga. <laughs> I beat, I beat, beat. Huh? <laughs> yeah, nigga. Oh, she's going for the titty twister. <laughs> 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 I put my two oh. titties on that nigga's shoulder and laid on top of that nigga like a bear. I whooped his ass. His mama made him write me a long Facebook message and apologize. Hey, Clayton, can you imagine Miss Pep wrap them titties around you and the referee show up and had to do your arm? <laughs> <laughs> He's out! <laughs> uh. I used to fight all the time in this shit. I fought, I fought quite a few times in this shit. I ain't give a fuck. You, <laughs> I fought LeVar, ass. <laughs> I'm not gonna say everything else. Don't, don't say everything. Don't, say everything. Yeah. don't, yeah. Do, don't do a little bit. Nick. Don't talk about a little bit. Yeah. That's my partner. You can't, he coming back on the show. Who? Don't tell that one. I hit, I hit that nigga LeVar with them CDs one time. And, and, and what you call it with him? I wasn't playing with his ass. He ran. He He's actually smart. ran. He's Who? smart. He knew, yeah, he, he said he knew about the, yeah. He know I was, he know I, I was gonna beat his oh. motherfucking ass. I was gonna beat the pharmaceutical out of his ass. Damn, Miss Pat. But we friends now. Stop we it. Friends. I talk to him all the time, but Stop he know it. I was gonna whoop his motherfucking ass. I, I oh, think he about man. the only one I snapped down here. I, only, well, I didn't get a chance to slap him because he ran. Somebody, you ain't gonna catch me, you fat bitch. I said, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know they made you faster. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. Oh, shit. I, I hit that motherfucker with them CDs he took out. Oh. But you have to fight in this shit. I mean, it's, a, it's really, a, it really was a fucking hard grind for all of us. This shit is Especially so me, because nobody really wanted to fuck me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody thought I was fucking Double D. What the fuck am I doing with Double D? <laughs> he started? Yeah, this I game can be hard if you ain't, don't nobody want to fuck you. You got to have, <laughs> yeah. have some fuckability in this game. Nobody. <laughs> nobody tried to. Only person tried to fuck me. What's the uh -oh. comedian died? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, the big one that died. The big fat one. Uh, the black one. He died about three, four years ago. Big wrong. Big wrong. That's the only nigga was trying to fuck me. I'm like, nigga, you ain't got nowhere to stay. Why would I fuck you? Rest in peace, Big Roll. Yeah. Damn it, Miss Pat. He's the only one that would wrong. tell me I was sexy and you look good. Cause he was in a thick girl. But he ain't had no car. His baby mama put him in my ass two weeks. So I'm like, who the fuck won't you, Big Roll? <laughs> 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 but other than that, nobody. I ain't bringing that up. <laughs> We ain't bringing up no more no. fights. It's gonna get out of hand. It's still a whole bunch of them that she ain't even. I know. Now. This is just the surface. These are the main events. No, those are the only mm -hmm. one I had. Cause I, you know, I, when I started, I hung out with Double D all the time. So everybody thought I was fucking Double D to take me on the road. I mean, who the fuck want Double D? Double D was fucking all the bitches. <clears throat> He married now, but everybody was a hoe. He was a hoe. Oh, my God. Double D ever told y'all the story? So, you know, no. Look, look. He's a pastor. Look, he showed us a pastor. He, he's, running, he's running for city council. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. He's, he's, look, he's so me and Double D used to go on the road all the he's time, right? And Double D, was, I was stay in the room with Double D, right? Because I was married. I didn't give a fuck. And we would have, like, separate beds. I fall asleep. Double D in the room fucking the bitch in the other bed while I'm in the room sleep. I wake up, condoms everywhere. I said, oh my God, Double D don't fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he had fucked me. It was like three condoms on the floor. Oh, shit. And so I said, Double D, please tell me you didn't fuck me while I'm sleeping. <laughs> All I woke up to was condoms, like three, four condoms on the floor, nigga. Drink cans and shit. Right and I was man. like, what the fuck happened last night? And you know, I'm, I'm feeling my pussy, see if it smell like extra fish. <laughs> 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 I'm like, did he fuck me? Oh, Lord, did he not hit me? I'm oh, like, oh, 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 shit. But he had, he, he had another girl he brought in the room and fucked. That's uh, what, why would she fuck you? Why married to my? I told her I fed you and you wasn't gonna wake up. Hey, you gotta.
<laughs> this comedy game <laughs> raw, man. The man, I remember oh. the time we was at, uh, uh, what's that club name down there right across the street from Frozen Palace we used to go to that uh, Preacher Man had? The piano bar? No, right across the street. What was that club? Crow's Nest. No, not the Crow's Nest. Uh, I cannot think of the name of it. Right across the street from 12th, uh, uh, them old niggas used to go over there. Preacher Man used to host that one. Anyway, Dub D behind the building fucking the girl, right? And the, uh I thought it was the piano bar. Baby Grant? 20 grand. 20 grand. 20 grand. Yeah. That's okay. what it was. 20 grand. 20 grand. He back there fucking the bitch on the trash can, right? Ooh. Dub D. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga here, man. <laughs> He gonna tell my son, come right here and get you some pussy. I said, my son ain't gonna back and get no trash can pussy nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he took my hey, son, man. he took my 20, my son 39, when he turned 19, he took him to that script club next door to fucking uptown. That's the <laughs> My son no. said, mama, do the script supposed to have on right guard? <laughs> <laughs> damn sure do. All them bitches had on right guard in there. Oh, believe in that. Bro. I took my homeboy in there from Florida. He would fail for the motherfucking okie doke. He did. Nigga got 38 dances from the same bitch. <laughs> and, and song four, I said, hey man, what you doing? He was like, man, I just having a good time. <laughs> I was like, by song eight, I'm like, bro, what you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? How he, much a dance cost? Shit, they wasn't that expensive, but when they, they were like five, ten, something like that, but. When she got done, she was like, you owe me $380. And that nigga, you know, back then the nigga was like, I thought you was vibing. <laughs> I was like, nigga, why the fuck you think I kept asking you? What are you doing? Like, the only reason he didn't have to pay all that shit was because the security, security, biggest hit security was over there like, nigga, just give us 180 because that bitch be doing that shit all the time. <laughs> I was like, Damn. <laughs> You I'm gonna take my homeboy from out of town to the strip club. They don't know how to act. Oh, man. This Me and my homeboy now, he was in that bitch for about an hour. Nigga, he just, I done lost his nigga. He run back on me like, man, these hoes like me in here. I was like, nigga, these girls ain't work. <laughs> I ain't never liked the strip club. You ain't fuck with it? I, I don't I don't I'm, I don't like naked bitches. I don't want right. to see myself naked. You don't like, yeah. I don't, don't like pussy. Yeah, I don't want to see my goddamn self naked. I don't want not see nobody else pussy. I know what pussy do. So I don't be I don't want to see nobody pussy. Especially no bald I'm head clueless. pussy. Let me see it. I don't know what pussy do. <laughs> you don't supposed it. to know what pussy do. What pussy do? If Show you knew what pussy did, I you, still want some. You might not eat it. Shit, I know where bacon come from. Yeah. That's way right. up in now. Your yeah. tongue ain't gonna go all the way up in now. Shit. You got that kind of tongue? You ever seen Spider-Man? Venom. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be that good. You ain't got but one child, but anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smart enough to not do that shit again. Mm-mm. This your first one? Yup. Your last one? Uh-huh. Your last one? I don't, I don't even know what other children, there's other children. Ooh. I can't even imagine having more than one. Others. Why? Shit. Mm -mm. I got four. Shit. Oh, four. I got four kids and two but abortions. Grown, they grown. <coughs> you still count the abortions? Yeah, I'm their mama. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about? I'm a real mama. And you worried about porn when you go to see Jesus. <laughs> no! What kind of mama wouldn't claim her kids? You trying to make me unfit, nigga? <laughs> I ain't unfit. <laughs> I claim my mama for the children. No! <laughs> what, what you uh, about now? No! Do a bitch think because she have an abortion, she, she don't supposed to celebrate Mother's Day? You oh, still a mama. shit. It just didn't make it. It did not make it. No, it didn't make it. But you still a mama. Once, it, once you've been you pregnant, you're always going to be a mama. Oh, my goodness. You, you have... somebody mama. You just didn't get no birth certificate. Damn, Miss Pat, you cold. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, bitch, I mean, you should claim all your kids. I've never, I mean, what am I going to be ashamed of my past for? Shit. I am my past, so, you know. Yeah. Well, I, I ain't going to lie on my vagina. You should keep, you should, you, so you're saying people should claim all their kids for the... Whether they're here or not, no. yeah. Let me ask you something. Rest in peace. Uh -oh. when, 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 when somebody lose a child to an accident or whatever, don't they still be that child mama? Yeah. So why can't you be a child mama who you put in a jar? It is a sign. Wow. I don't you, know. You, this is a controversial you, yeah. topic, Miss Pat. 
I'm a girl. I'm telling you, that's not controversial. Oh, okay. You get to claim whoever the fuck you want to claim. She might not claim her abortion, but I claim my abortion. Well, she had seven, so you know. She yeah. tried to get you an extra one. It about to be. <laughs> she got six kids. She got six motherfuckers, and that is not my daughter, okay? That pussy about be good. I don't know. She say her pussy good. It I don't know. It got to be six. Carlos, <laughs> I had six, too. Minus two. Anytime a nigga fucking and you already got five, and he like, <laughs> <laughs> That's some good ass pussy. He knew what might have happened. She fertile as fuck, too. She is fertile, but she got, it don't count for her, because she got four, three, two Asian kids. Oh, black kids. All of them Asian? Most of them. Oh, little Asian man can't come out of that pussy. Too good. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, boy? Stop saying it. Too good. <laughs> she she right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, she <laughs> fuck with the Asian man. Nigga, bow in that pussy, boy. I ain't say he bow in that pussy. You bow right. I don't know what the fuck she be doing with that pussy. She, her pussy, she got that pussy from Holly Night. You throw up in the air and, and, make, and make it rain. Sunshine. Yeah, that she got that kind of pussy. I, everywhere I take her. I'm like, can you get these niggas she off She got here? six kids. She, bro, she put that pussy on and you be moaning like the bitch. <laughs> 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 and, and she nasty with it too. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn, please, he know your pussy. He know your pussy. <laughs> and she be telling. Man, please get that pussy out of here. <laughs> hey, Carlos, please get it out of here. She be trying to tell me to put landing strips on my pussy. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> like somebody gonna see it with my damn bottom stomach hanging mm -hmm. on the top. Don't put no landing <laughs> like strip. A motherfucking plane come right into my navel. I want that pussy <laughs> to look like the backyard of a house you about to buy. This could be nice if you just dress it up a little bit. I want to do my own project. What? Yeah. So just leave it. I do my own landscaping on the pussy. You, you going to shade it? Yeah. Who going to let you shade them? I'm, I, I got my, I'm certified. How steady my hand is. No, no. I mean, I, I don't, I, I, just, I just shave enough so it don't work about my stomach and break my stomach out. <laughs> <laughs> Can't talk to you, Miss Pat. <laughs> You, you live by your own rules. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want you it chasing. Just, you, you, just don't want it <laughs> you just trimming pussy. <laughs> you don't want that shit changing the color of your stuff. <laughs> she in the bathroom Why like this. Why is it dark right here? <laughs> I think I'm in the bathroom like that. You buy it right. I don't got time for all that extra shit. <laughs> just enough to keep it off the bottom of my stomach. <laughs> I can't get over uh, this six kids, though. She has six kids. Damn. And no scratch marks. That's crazy. I know. Look, I'm still doing Can you imagine having to feed six people? Man. It ain't that bad. Shit. What do they eat? I, yeah, but that's the, how the shit be high. I'd be like, God, But what if damn. you fucked around and you had six and you just, you ain't even really paying attention because, you know, life and shit happens. But what I'm saying though is like, you got six kids and you like forgot one of their names for real, for real. No, I forget my kid's name all the time. Six different motherfuckers? You, God damn. I think you call them the wrong name before you forget their name. Yeah, I call them the wrong name. Yeah. I always get my boy, and I kill him and Jumbo. I call everybody Jumbo. Oh. Yeah, so I do. And then I call, sometimes I call my daughter, Gariana Ashley, and she be like, I'm not your gay daughter. Yeah. So, that's how she identified by, I'm not your gay daughter. And then I know to say Gary Allen. That's how you, the, one gay and one ain't? Yeah, you know my daughter Ashley gay. The real pretty one. Both of them pretty. One beat me all the time. Yeah. You know she gay. I don't be knowing who do what. Yeah, I she knew. Be, she be one gay shout out. Uh, everybody my daughter gay, she told me to give her a gay shout out. Yeah, she told me to get a shot. Oh. <laughs> I don't be knowing who. You said she wasn't home for a while. Man, she told them deal those like dicks on ice. Dicks on ice. Yeah. She got a briefcase. She got a briefcase. She got a briefcase. Brief brief <laughs> 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 I went over a house one time. Let me show you what I'm working with. <laughs> <laughs> now, just so imagine you got six table. kids. Well, hey, who put them dicks in this book bag? <laughs> The wrong kid grabbed you. <laughs> you look brother that took your book back to school, full of dicks. And recess poking people with 
Now I got to go up there. Now he's suspended. <laughs> and I got to go up there. He... And you got to go with me because they're your dicks. <laughs> They do bring their parents shit to school like that. They do bring their kids shit to school like that. Wait a minute, Miss Bates. She got a backpack full of dicks. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. When she was little, she, uh, she... She took her mama crack to school and gave it out of bubble gum. <laughs> and got her motherfucking mama locked up. <laughs> Who? What? She did. What? She sold crack. I didn't want her to sell it no more. So I took it to school and gave it out in the third grade. You gave it out? Yeah, to, to the, the kids. kids? Yeah. I and they locked her mama motherfucking ass up, too. So that's one of them girls we read about in the newspaper. <laughs> what? <laughs> we heard that story. I was in third grade. Somebody <laughs> Google third graders give out crack. <laughs> See if her name pop up. Yeah. Wow. You told them it was crack? No, I didn't tell them. I just passed it out. And they... I didn't want her to sell it, so I just gave it away. Yeah, ungrateful. So did they... Child. Did any of them fuck. eat it? Like the kids eat blue? I know what they did. I know what they did. Oh, she knows. They was at the foster home within two hours. <laughs> they was in foster care. Damn. Oh, she knows they had a new home within two hours. Damn. I sold crack, and my daughter never did that. Like, Damn. I used to put it in their underwear and shit. Uh, for what? Like... Miss Pat, you can't say that type of shit. That'll get you fucked up. You would she did not put crack in nobody's yes, underwear. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I've told that story many times. I put oh. it in their underwear back in the day. You can't judge me for saying I did back in the day. Oh. Um, yeah, that's how okay. we used to hide the crack in the kids' underwear. That's why she took it to school. I didn't know her. Oh, okay. I don't know why she no, took it to school. <laughs> I, I was a dealer. I would have beat her ass and she, she, t and she made me lose all that money. I ain't gonna be toting this shit if they don't cut me in. <laughs> I'm telling. Was it a lot hey. of crack? It was in a, like a little tie <clears throat> off, um, get the ball. Yeah, so it was. That's a lot of crack. Damn. It was full? Yeah, it had some little bags in it with the little white rock in it. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's about a that's about a thousand. So you was putting crack. them in like they under rules. They pampers. Yeah. Pampers? Yeah. Oh, like they babies. Well, they just held it till we got to the trap and they go play. And when I need a re-up, I just go up my kids' drawers and keep going. I was young and dumb back then. Miss Pat too raw for the world. That's too raw. Well, you said I, a nigga shot you too? Yeah, my kid's father shot me in the back of the head and another nigga shot me in my titty and blew my nip off. What about the other dude? <laughs> Did you get hit? So that's just a smooth spot in there? No. Uh-uh. I, uh, I got they a nip that just on? blew off, yeah. It just ain't right. Oh. It's suckable. <laughs> I don't know now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he shot me with a 45. That's a big Damn. caliber gun. I don't that, know, Miss Pat. It that went up under my arm in a little hole and came out. All of that shit was just. The whole nipple just. It was. It hit. It came out through the areola, and it just tore everything that's, up. That's evil. It, you, when you get shot like, like that, that, you don't really feel it. You, you don't feel you it. Was in shock? Well, I was just... shooting at him. Oh, he, he shot shoot. back. You yeah, ain't know that part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you was shooting? A 38. Oh, shit. <laughs> An old 38, too, nigga, that got jammed. A 38 jam? God damn. An old 38. You and, was shooting uh, a goddamn pirate, girl. But he was shooting and running. <laughs> this nigga so had we, a blunderbuss. Yeah. <laughs> so he hit me up under the right arm and it came out of my titty. Damn. Damn. You said somebody hit you with a truck? No, my, my my kid's father. I jumped off a little overpass. I seen him down. I was walking across. He was cheating with a bitch. I jumped on that motherfucking truck car. He gonna take off somebody. He didn't know that was me. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> love make you do dumb shit. That ain't love. Uh, don't love well, me. <laughs> <laughs> don't love me. I don't want no bitch. You ain't I never had no crazy with. bitch, Carlos. Hell yeah. I mean, when you love a motherfucker, it made you. Well, when you thought you loved a motherfucker, that's, like, that's my first boyfriend. They're not like shooting at a bitch. Crack. That wasn't your crack partner. I don't no, do that violence. was my baby daddy. I don't like, do because okay. the reason why I shot, so he shot me, and so I shot him back, so we would be even. <laughs> Wait a minute, he shot you before. He shot me first. Oh, and then you shot back. No, no, about a couple no, months later, I caught him with his other baby mama, so I shot that nigga in the ankle because he didn't come by my house first, and it broke his leg. 
And but then when I shoot him, I go to the hospital, a greater hospital, pick him up. He walking out with the other baby mama who didn't even have nothing to do with the shoot. So I'm like, I shot you so I can take care of you, nigga. This bitch ain't about to sign this cash. <laughs> <laughs> so I hit this nigga with my car and broke his whole cast. <laughs> Man, hey. I was crazy. I don't act like that no more. <laughs> We glad you don't. <laughs> the murder rate, uh, yeah, damn. The, the city already on fire. The city we do not condone right now. violence against black men in any form. We don't fashion. condone domestic violence in any way, shape, God or form. Damn, this pay you. No matter who. You know what? I was, just, I was wild. I was stupid. You know how you think you're in love? Like I remember one time I went on one of these baby mama house. And uh, I knocked on the door and the kid on the door, so I had a pocket full of change. And I knew he was in there, right? Stop. And I get Wait. a little girl all the change. Oh, I said, shh, oh. and I knock on the bedroom door. Nigga, that bitch opened that door, and he was in that bed butt naked with that hair and bone naked. Remember back in those days, all them niggas <laughs> wore them hair and bone naked. You in the bed with that bitch with my hair and bone naked? I just bought you from the pawn shop. Nigga, I hit that bitch and grabbed that hair and bone naked, tried to choke the shit out that nigga. And we was fighting in that whole house like a motherfucker. I got worried. Cause I thought you said, I thought you was about to say you slapped the baby with a bag of change. <laughs> I was so scared for this. Bro, I was like, please story. don't say that. Please I was don't like, oh, I thought you slapped the baby with a bag of change. <laughs> no. But that made way more sense. No. It was way more I, smart. I gave the baby the money so she wouldn't be quiet. <laughs> a whole box, pocket full of change I had. And I knocked on the bedroom door, hitting that butt ass naked with the bitch. I, that bitch opened that door and she's like, they ran it. And I hit that bitch and I hit him, but he hit me in my eye right there. And then my eye started bleeding. Nigga, I had so much blood in my eye, but I said, I ain't leaving here without you, motherfucker. Go on, take me to Grady and get me some stitches, because you ain't standing here with that bitch. Grady, y'all was, was in that bitch. Was a rec <laughs> <laughs> Give me my regular room. <laughs> and this <laughs> nigga need another room, because I just busted his motherfucking case. <laughs> I remember one time I was fighting with him. And uh, but at first, I wouldn't hit him back. And then I had a cousin, she was, one day she was like, hit that nigga back. And he hit me with a roller skate, that stopper. On the end of that skate, nigga. You know that. Miss Bean, how you still? You supposed to be here. Yeah, I Man, supposed just, to be here. God that damn. nigga hit me with that roller skate stop all. That shit did something to me, nigga. I said, oh, ain't no more licks. I went wild on that ass. Because you know a stopper don't go in. That motherfucker just thick ass eraser. It's to stop you from moving on some <laughs> skates, nigga. It's the hard, it might be the hardest part of the skate next to the wheel. Yes. He hit me with that stopper, nigga. I was like, that's it. I remember one day he slapped me with an iron. God nigga, I slapped that nigga back with that iron. This is the this is the most toxic shit I've ever heard. <laughs> Miss well, Pat, you know what? If, if you call it crazy, you think you love a motherfucker, but then you realize you grow up to realize, that, hey, this ain't love. This is a fucking abuse. But it come with you. It's really abuse with you call good sex and digmatized. It was probably somewhat... was digmatized. It probably digmatized. That's terrible. You can't do that shit to me no more. Oh. Like you can't hit me with no roller skate, nigga. But you can't, you can't hit me with no iron. Ain't nobody shoot me. Ain't nobody fucking me. And they me. shouldn't. And nobody should ever do that. Yeah, I mean, I fight your ass back. I was, I was thirteen. But you know, he was twenty-two. Miss Pat, what? Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do, do you realize what? if comedy wouldn't have been your path in your younger days? I'd be in jail. No, you probably could have been an MMA fighter. <laughs> you probably could have got in that octagon, and if a nigga hit you with an iron, you can take a hook. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna titty twist this nigga to death. <laughs> you could. I don't understand. You took some. Hey, I you took special. Some you, you a special breed. We glad oh, you yeah. still here though. Yeah. God damn. Hey, yeah. I, I didn't even know you could shoot somebody nipple off. Uh, I didn't either. Till I got to, you know what's crazy? Because when he shot me up under the arm, I, I was running into a crack house because I was selling crack at the time. So I thought I snagged my titty on the dough jam of the crack house. So. Because <laughs> <laughs> that happened you know. too? Damn. So, Damn. Your life was dangerous. You could snag a titty. Who knew having titties was so dangerous? So, you got to worry about snagging a little shit. Down, I'm bleeding, but it's running like wool. It's coming out a lot. And I was like, what the fuck? And so when they took my bra off, they was like, God damn, it's a big ass hole down there. And they didn't sew it up. What they did was they put the nipple back there. And I don't know what they put on, but I had to leave this plaster on and change it every so many days. And it just all healed back together. You did some shit from 
Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Tickle her feet, her nipple get hard. <laughs> the nerves are fucked up. They took good meat. You right, my fucking. <laughs> Sometimes that nipple do work without the other one. <laughs> now they ain't in sync. You can't get them to get hard at the same time. You gotta warm this one up. You gotta... <laughs> it's a push start. <laughs> that nigga said need a push start. Them titties alternate. One be hard, one be soft. <laughs> You might be right, Carlos. You be looking in my wonders. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not crazy like that anymore. I've been married now for over 30 years, but that's the yeah. 30 years? Almost. Fuck that. I've been rocking the same dude for almost, I wouldn't change him for the world. Shit, you can't at this point. You better not even go take care of him. Hell no. <laughs> you imagine trying to find a new motherfucker with the same shit you were saying 30 years ago? <laughs> Nah, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Jump on it! <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> you talking about the old sex language? Jump on it? <laughs> Sock it to me now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the fuck do they say now? Hey, baby girl, why don't you let me come over there and stick the zoom zoom in the boom boom? <laughs> I want to grab on that rump shaker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah, that was like Sim, the one. Sim, <laughs> well, how do you pick up pussy now? How do you get it now? I pick up pussy. What, what do you say to girls now? Shit. Shit. You, I don't know. Oh, you gotta have TikTok. That's, I, I ain't, I don't. No, you don't. You what do they say some. to women now, Quisha? She fucking out. She got like? the Asian dude, right? Yeah, she like Asian dude. What type of shit is that? I that's don't know why she like Asian dick. Them Asian sexy than the motherfuckers. She be going with them niggas look like Arnold Schwarzenegger's. Oh, okay. Well, she go with the dude that, that was fighting Bruce Lee in the one movie. <laughs> Bolo. Bolo. <laughs> <laughs> no, her baby dad sexy than the motherfucker. That nigga, he Asian, black, Mexican, Chinese, he everything. Who she fucking? Bruno Mars? <laughs> <laughs> What you do? <laughs> Where you at? <laughs> Them my kids. Oh, they black. That nigga said, Yo, your baby daddy grew up for his ears. One of them sexy the motherfucker. Now that all black baby daddy, oh, that nigga. So, I don't she, know if that was racist or not, Miss Pat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want racist. <laughs> she should have stayed no, on the Asian like, side. The Asian nigga, he, he, he's a good nigga. Not that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> Spit in that nigga face. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just saying the Asian is guy was really fucking fire. <laughs> and I shouldn't be giving him no shout out like they don't 85 South. Yeah, because now she know you think her baby dad is. Oh, I, I can't switch, man. I'm too far deep in. I, I can't. 30 yeah. years? What's the trick? Um, uh, communication. Shit. <laughs> Why it's so hard? I be trying to communicate, but... But you high. Who the fuck won't talk to you like that? Uh, this is the best way to talk to me. <laughs> 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 this is the best way to talk to me. Well, you must not get... know the alternative. I'm understanding when I'm this way. I'm empathetic. Otherwise, is why the fuck? Everything start with why the fuck? Um, why the fuck would you say some shit like that? Yeah. I don't know. I think the stay. I think you got it. You know, <clears throat> just for me, it was communication, mm. and I really like the dude. I love the dude. There we go. I mean, he's a good one. It's, it's not easy to find a good man out here. You like I mean, him and you loved him. Uh, yeah, I do, because I had two kids already, and I took in my sister four crack babies, and I took in another set of crack babies, and I took in another set of crack babies. How many the fucking sister? Wait a minute. You be losing. Ain't nobody going to stick around for that shit. I got a real one. Damn. That was a lot. That's he, like... he helped me raise about 12 kids that wasn't ours, because I only got two by him. And never complained. You wouldn't have stuck around for that shit, Carlos. I mean, yeah, and you fucking right. <laughs> I don't know, it depends. So without the ventures, how the fuck you leave a motherfucker who been through everything? What you gonna do, shoot me again? Like, you can't get nothing else to do. And why don't you slap me with an iron? <laughs> <laughs> I can't win. You can't. 
12 Craig Mavis, though? Yeah. My, I have my sister kids, sister-in-law kids, and then I, now I have my niece kids now. I have four kids at the house now. My kids are grown. Mm. But you just keep finding some new kids. Uh, they keep finding me, Carlos. Right, they cool. keep, but this is it, because I'm old. Nah, I, I'm just going getting through, good. Huh? Nah, keep, keep it going. No, nah, I'm done. Yeah, I mean, I'm, like... I'm going through menopause. I'm hot all the time, and so... period won't stop coming on, and I, I can't, Damn, I can't do it. Sometimes you just get some shit just, you just need to leave out. <laughs> <laughs> We ain't. <laughs> we ain't. I want you to know what it is to be a middle-aged black woman, Carlos. I don't need to know to. all of that. I'm yes, a, you do, because uh, your girl going to become middle-aged one day, too. Mm. We'll throw without you, so you should know what we go through. So, Why? Why I need to know that? Because if a bitch tell you she got high flashes, you won't think the bitch has done set herself on fire. You'll know <laughs> that she just heating up in different I'm areas. I'm you know, They only getting worse when you're sitting here telling me about it. She does know that hot sauce. Exactly. <laughs> Nigga blame it on some other shit. Ain't nobody tell you all them hot cheat eggs. And you know all them goddamn damn shit. You been yeah. and shit. You put hot sauce on everything. That ain't what give you hot flashes, but. I know. Yeah. That's but. just uh, when you pussy heat, go back in your body. The exhaust ain't working. Yeah. Manifold. Yep. They so you saying eggs. we got a broken heat? They got a straight pipe. They got to straighten that you shit straight out. You don't know shit out. about no pussy. That ain't what it is. <laughs> <laughs> about, we it's got just a zone really, fight hanging out our ass. Yeah, it's just all that evil just moving around, make you hot. N nah, every woman have that. Mm -hmm. and, and it moves too. Like mine started behind my neck, nads in between my boobs, and then what well, was in between my titties, nads, in, nads, nads down below. High, high, you it's, get a high flash in it, your pussy. Yeah. I wasn't even supposed to say that out loud. I was just thinking that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't. You were thinking about getting some hot flash. You just sitting there chilling in there. Whoa, shit, goddamn! <laughs> Them nuts is on fire. How do it get? Yeah, that one. It, it, it's probably fire. You set man. yourself on fire? Like, goddamn. <laughs> Pussy just start smoking. Like, you left the PlayStation on too. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> Is your mama still around? Cause she gonna beat your ass for yeah. this shit. Yeah, my mom will. My mom I, didn't know, I didn't know they got hot flashes in the pussy. You get them everywhere. Some people get them on the bottom of their feet, behind their ears. I mean, you ever something like older women, they don't like uh, gluing down their wig cause they'll slide the fuck off from the heat. Miss Pat, you might have you told me a secret. I didn't know none of this shit. Yeah, cause you probably don't sleep with women my age. I damn sure don't. <laughs> yes, women, some pussy from women this pant age, you take the panties off, you see who had this shit like a book. <laughs> you know, you get them old school books, you see who had it for years before you. <laughs> nigga, my daddy had this book! <laughs> nigga, my pussy ain't that old. <laughs> uh, I ain't old enough to be your fucking mama. Oh, shit. Some days. <laughs> shit. Whatever. Oh, man. I'm going to start, though. They keep throwing it at me. Older women? Yeah. Cougars? I so just, wait till they have their hot flashes. Wait till they at the end of menopause. Is that your suggestion? No, nah, they can go to 60, 70 years old. Menopause? Yeah, once yeah. they get them hot flashes, they just there now. Oh. They, they eventually go away, but they go away different times. Don't you agree, Quisha? She get them, too? No. Nah. She ain't gonna tell you if she get them because she ain't gonna get old. I don't want to know nothing about her pussy because clearly people can't come out of there once they go off in that motherfucker. <laughs> ain't nobody came Let back without a baby. Turn. <laughs> the mother say, ain't nobody came back without a baby. Hell no. <laughs> the crazy part is the last baby she had, I, nobody knew she was pregnant. She, she didn't even know. She was just in the bathroom <laughs> no, fucking I, around one day and a baby fell out. What the fuck is this? Type no, of I went to go get my hair fixed and I called and she said, oh, I just, I'm in the hospital having a baby. Bitch! I just saw you last month. No, couldn't even tell she was pregnant. She didn't show. I ain't never seen no pregnant Asian lady before, so. She ain't Asian. I thought you said she was Asian. Oh, she a quarter. See? I don't think a quarter count. Shit. She half a, she Asian all the way. Look at them sandals. She got them sandals on. What the fuck they gotta be? All Asian people wear sandals. <laughs> They do? All of them. I ain't never noticed that. I go to the wig store all the time. Okay, start paying attention. I start paying attention. Yeah, they always got them sandals on. <laughs> <laughs>
fucking stupid. I, I, you, I, he don't laugh for me because I'm like, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Cause I ain't Whatever, seen bro. Don't look at any, any movie with some Asian people or some shit, they gonna have some sandals on. They might not have them on at the wig store because they working, but you catch them on their leisure, they gonna have them sandals on. Not, I mean, yeah, you, okay. In Asia. Yeah. What? And, at the, and at the nail salon. What did you say? Them nail salon Asian, them not the same. Them not the what? same as the real ones that's like Asians still over there. Asians be wearing Yeezys. I know. <laughs> 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 niggas love Yeezys. But they wear the knockoff Yeezys because you can get them online. <laughs> you they can't. Yes. <laughs> but that's not knockoff to them. That's just supporting their family business. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I ain't even knockoff. My boy made this. But, but, but it's knockoff. Don't, don't, we don't say that, bro. He's an entrepreneur. <laughs> who, who entrepreneur? That's what I mean. <laughs> but you see a lot. But you see a lot of you see a lot of people with the knockoff Yeezys on. I don't like the prison slippers. I don't like jail shit either. Huh? Good. I don't fuck with that jail shit either. It remind me of jail. Do, do those shoes not remind you of jail? Yeah, you talking about them little slides. Yeah, they just remind yeah. me of jail. They remind me of shower shoes at the, at the prison when I was in prison. Yeah. I'm like, I, I'm not gonna pay $900 for no prison shoe. Shit, I can get one of my friends to mail me a pair from jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not around with that too tough. What? That prison shit. But you can get a pair mailed to you from the prison. I wonder if it's a website you can go to, like people who was locked up for a long time, they so used to that jail shit, they just like, gotta have it now. I don't you know just, nobody who just gotta have prison gotta shit. Gotta have jail? <laughs> you just that's just a dicky suit. Hey, man, I, you need them shower shoes, man. I can't wash up without my shit. <laughs> Won't you just get some free world shit, man? I don't want that. You out there giving niggas ideals. Fresh out of fresh, fresh prison wear. That's what he did. Institutionalized.com. Institutionalized. Well, every month they just send you a box of shit you used to get, like when you was in jail. What is gonna be yeah, commissary? Just look up, they can look up the system. <laughs> see, yeah, they can see what you used to order at commissary all the time and put you a box together and just mail that shit. Fresh t shirt. You get like two, three t shirts in that bitch. Some coffee, cookies, phone card. You so you go, you go make an app for commissary. Yeah. You ever been to prison? Niggas, this nigga for niggas who miss commissary, nigga. Commissary was Any dot commissary. Any dot commissary. <laughs> Enter your email and put some money on your books. <laughs> That's funny. Dot um, commissary. You ever been to prison? Mm-mm. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. You? No, nah, I be trying to get out of jail as soon as I get in there. We some good niggas, Miss Pat. I what see, I see. I've been, I've been. Not prison. I want to do prison. Yeah, I did. I did a year oh. for drugs. Of course. Well, I figured that. I put two and two together. You got away <laughs> with all the murders and shooting and shit. Oh, man. <laughs> I did not get with no fucking I don't know murders. it was murders. It was some shootouts because oh. somebody lost a nipple. I ain't going to say nobody's name. I lost a fucking nipple, but he he, he <laughs> lost a, uh, a part of an ankle, so. I mean, y'all even? Yeah, we even. He used to take me skating all the time, too, back in the day. Oh, I thought about the same. After the ankle shit. After he hit you with the skate? Yeah, the same skate he hit me with. Nigga, he took me to the skate ring. Screaming Wheels, y'all remember Screaming Wheels? Mm -mm. Nah, I heard of it, but oh, I, you remember I wasn't that? around for Oh, y'all too yeah. young. Y'all yeah. too young. I keep wasn't forgetting. Y'all around, around for my kids. Like, you remember Screaming Wheels? Yeah, Screaming Wheels. Yeah. He take me Screaming Wheels all the time. She keep getting her pregnant. Her boy's sex in the month. You heard her. Yeah, Screaming Wheels. <laughs> Don't speak, Quisha, because we don't need you to get pregnant no more. I'm not going to do it. I just said, I see, and now I see why it be happening. She ain't having no more baby. You I had her that. get her tubes tied. You ain't, she don't want them tied. I need them tied. Them some good tubes. <laughs> we know, Denver, we know. We know she got some four black babies tubes, and two Asians. Totally tubular. Shout out to Miss Quisha with them six kids. Keep doing your thing. She fixed my hair. She ain't gonna handle my baby. She that mm hmm She the reason the census switched up. Now they say there's more multiracial people than any other race, and she, she definitely has something, something to do with that. She only got two. Who? She got two Asian babies. That's enough. But she already a quarter. I don't know shit about her. It's I just know about the kids. Asian Asian Asian. Some black ones? Four ba black babies. Oh, shit. They all look exactly like I believe it. They do. 
Let them two Asian babies be beating the shit out of everybody. Nah, he They stand back to back and like, come on, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 What is wrong with you, man? <laughs> you think the goddamn thing? You're going to trouble. <laughs> Why you kid? Stop lying your brothers and sisters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she ain't got them. She, she gave them soft names. They oh. named August. August. September. They named August and September for real? Oh, they the fall. <laughs> oh. August and September, that's hard, though. That's a good, that's a good. We're August, and I'm September, and you will fall. That sound like them. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have me some twins named January and February. <laughs> they do that shit for real. You know how many Aprils out here in March? Mm. It's a bitch out here named March. It's a bitch first name March. I ain't never met a March. Yeah, it's a I March out here. I want to be the bitch named October. It's a bunch like of October. It's a bunch of Octobers out here. What the fuck are you talking Octobers? about? Octobers? You need to stop smoking weed. Man. October you know. is the name that people are using. Yes. I they, heard of August. I heard of summer. They name their kids threes and fours now. Three? Yeah. Who, 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 who How fuck? you spell it? Trey, bitch. Trey, Somebody. Trey. Huh? Trey. <laughs> Trey. Three? Trey. Yeah. <laughs> what? They, they named the kid Trey. Undo twice. twice. Well, Trey a name, though. Three? You mean somebody just named the number? Which one of them celebrity named their child a number? No, that's seven. Elon Musk. Seven. That's seven. X. Seven. No, seven. It's still spelled out. It's seven. It's not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's but I love, seven. That's what I love about being black, bro. We'll make a name. Your nigga name can be spelled seven, but nigga tell you some shit. Look you straight in the eye. It's Savon. <laughs> so when we shot an episode of my show, and this just happened, so uh, the, the co-writer came out with a name, uh, Kinshetta, Kinshetta. So we, I was like, I ain't never heard a bitch named Kinshetta. This girl came into my inbox and said, "Me, Pat, where y'all get the name Kinshetta? That's my name." I was, I called a nigga. I said, "Nigga, it's a bitch out here named Kinshetta." <laughs> I, I mean, cause we thought we just made up some shit. Mm -mm. You made her up. Keyshetta. But she was like, my name is Keyshetta. Where y'all get that name from? I'm like, bitch, we didn't know you was for real. There's some names out here, nigga. Keyshetta. Huh? The last 200 years, October has been given to 1,000 girls in the United States. Thank you. That's not a lot. I don't give a fuck. 1,000 in the last 200 years? That mean nobody naming their baby October. They naming a nigga October out of spite. I don't know October. That's the month they born fucking name. Yeah. I didn't want to have this little motherfucker anyway. Every seven years, an old white man just come and stand on top of a mountain. We shall name her October. <laughs> somebody old, using the name. Long John Silver smelling ass now. <laughs> what did you say, Long John Silver smelling ass? <laughs> sit your sink water drinking ass. <laughs> You don't drink sink water? Hell no. Me neither, Carlos. <laughs> I'm too bougie for that <laughs> shit. You know why I don't drink sink water? Because when I was little, I went to English Avenue, and back in the day, they used to take you on these po-ass field trips because they didn't give a fuck about po' black kids. Right. Nigga, they took me to the water work and showed me how that shit was made, the Atlanta City water work. That was a field trip. And they take you to the pub with all the shit at first and say, this is what it is. And then they take you to the side and then get your glass and I said, what the fuck? And that shit mentally, I don't fuck with no nigga. I don't even want to bathe some days. We clean it. We, we clean the shit. Don't start that trend, Miss Pat. God damn it. It's enough white people in Hollywood. That's how you know she the made it. You the made it. <laughs> white people got you reconsidering <laughs> bathe <laughs> shit every other Thursday. <laughs> Hell no. Man, I cannot fuck with seat water because they took me on that poor ass. I don't like water, period, after that shit. But after they took me on that poor ass motherfucking field trip, water, I don't fuck with water. You got it. Okay. Tap water. Tap water. I would okay. not drink it. Right. I would not fucking drink it. That's fucked up, Miss Pat. <laughs> I can't get over some of this shit you done said. You done fucked me all the way up, Miss Pat. I mean, that's why I don't drink the shit. They took me on a fucking poor-ass po field trip. I can't believe you said, yeah, I'm their mom about your aborted babies. I am their mother. You right. I just didn't get a chance to name him. Should've named him October. <clears throat> they wouldn't have made it. Now they gone to November. <laughs> Y'all motherfucking <laughs> crazy. Y'all two some bitches crazy. <laughs> Look, man, make sure you go watch Miss Pet new show.
Lou Pedro. BET Plus. Ms. Banks, give them your, give them your social media. media so they can follow you and catch up with you. And uh, comedian Miss Pat, that's C O M E D I E N N E M S P A T. Uh, Instagram, TikTok, all the bullshit. I'm, on, I'm out there on it. My website is misspatcomedy.com. Uh, the show is at, now streaming on BT Plus. All 10 episodes. You watch, I get another season. Come on, we already claimed it. Come on, Let's man. Go. Let's run it up. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, so there you have it, folks. Miss Pat, this is your first time in the trap. Don't let it be your last time. You always welcome to come over come here and talk back. some shit with us. Well, I appreciate it. This yeah. is the 85 South yeah. Show. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get a picture. Catch up. Hold on, nigga. Make sure my titties don't look fat. Fix your titties. Nigga, we just 